What is going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Hi. here with my nephew, Max, which, Hi. I mean, are you? No, he's not quite taller than me <laughs> quite yet. He's Plus. getting there. He's very, very close. What's going on, everybody? And so sorry about the delay. Uh, everybody remembers, if you were joining this for the Amazon live stream, uh, that the uh, PC was being weird. We found out it was running at 0.52 gigahertz, which is, <laughs> which is not a good, good, gigahertz at all. Uh, so uh, we uh, we had to do a BIOS update. So a huge shout out to Org and BMOC for being their clutch for us to get it figured out real quick. I was like, mm, this seems weird. Uh, I updated from BIOS version 1001 to 4206. So it was like two and a half years worth of BIOSes. So yeah, that was, uh, that was, and now things are running smooth, right? It's all good. I'm not choppy anymore. This seems fine. I mean, Max is fine. Yeah. He was running at 0.52 gigahertz. <laughs> he was running at whatever it was, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's unusual. Yeah, zero. Yeah, zero point five two. Not not five point two. Not four point two. Point five two, as in zero point five two. Yeah. So it was it was pretty whack. Whatever was going on here, but it's good to have everybody here, and uh, it's it's exciting to have uh, basically Maxwell here. Max Max is a you're a PC enthusiast, right? Yeah. You do, you do some PC stuff. Yeah. That's it. That's your one one word answer. The people are entertained. What 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 kind of uh, what kind of PC stuff do you do? Because I mean, like you have your you built your own rig, right? Yeah. Uh, so I built my own computer, and I used Windows for a while, and then Windows was cringe. So I switched to Linux, and now I'm a Linux user. Oh, okay. Um, so think to Steam. He thinks that's weird. <laughs> Well, I mean, like it's it's interesting, right? Like it's it's one of those things for Linux. I think the best thing that ever happened to Linux was the Steam Deck, because Probably. I mean, with everything going on with Proton, now it's actually got a lot of people updating uh, for playing games and all that sort of stuff. So uh, if you need to do normal, regular stuff, like if you're, I, you know, unlike running Mac, like a lot of uh, corporate IT companies aren't like big on supporting Linux. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, like for most of your stuff, I'm sure it's probably fine. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, you there you go, Proton Rules. Yeah, you can you can play most games except like Fortnite because Epic was weird for some reason and they have two anti cheats and they decided to not enable it in either of them. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, and Destiny Two, those are like the big ones. But most other things are playable. I don't yeah. really care about either of those. Yeah. So so why so why the why did the move to Linux? What was it that you you didn't like about Windows that you liked about Linux? It's I, always a question. It's a, it's <laughs> always an interesting question. I was tired of how many startup apps there were and all of the like eight gigs of background RAM I was using for no reason. But just add more RAM. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm running a bunch of servers and stuff. Yeah, that's right. You were doing a bunch of stuff that's eat. Yeah, so like I said, he does some PC stuff. Yeah. He actually like is a power user. You've done some coding. Um, you enjoy coding, right? Yeah. Like this is like, this is a path that he wants to be, uh, wants to go on. And I think it was, was it this year? It might've been 2021. Yeah, I think it was, might've been, I don't remember if it was 2021 or 2020 that you said, hey, I want to be on the show. And for Christmas, <laughs> I don't know which year it was. I said, yeah, you should totally just come and be it, on the show. It was 21. It yeah. was 21. Okay, so I, it's, it's still, it's, we're still within the, no, we're a year later. So it's, it's uh, but we're, we're finally gonna get him here and we wanted to do kind of a cool build. So today's build I think is a cool one to do. Uh, now what is, what's what's in your current system right now? Uh, I have a 3080, 3700X. Okay. Uh, I think like a B550. Okay. Uh, and then like a two, two terabyte, no, two one terabyte NVMe drives and like another three terabytes total in nice. SSDs and hard drives. Okay, there we go. So he's got, you know, he's got a pretty good system. Um, he was pretty, so, Igor, thank you for the subs. Riddick, by the way, also King Mellow. So I was too into uh, interviewing my, my <laughs> nephew here that is going, uh, it's always uh, it's always uh, fun to, to have somebody on here. Um, but this one is gonna be an upgrade from your current system. Now this isn't his system. Like he doesn't get to take this home. And he was like, oh, I wish that would be great. Um, but you know, I know you like AMD. I mean, you're, 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 you have, except for the 3080, which I was a, hard, a large part of helping you get that yeah. GPU back in the day. Uh, it's an EVGA. Um, but, uh, oh, they, somebody said RAM. What's your RAM? How many, what's oh, uh, 64 gigs of 3200? Okay, 3200 megahertz. Okay, so there you go. That's the, that's the whole something. system. Farger, thank you for the 10 gifted subs as well. We are about to hit a hype train, which if you guys remember, I haven't talked about the giveaways at all. So I'll talk about that. So why don't we, if you guys want to do one more thing, let's get that, let's unlock the giveaway uh, and hit that. There it is. Ten, there's 10 more. So that, there we're going to hit, uh, 
that's gonna be level five in and of itself. So we've already given that away. So let me talk about the giveaways. First one, if we get 250 likes over at youtube.com slash robotechlive on the YouTube video, uh, then we'll give away a $25 new gift card, which huge shout out to them for uh, posting today's video. Uh, if we get uh, a level five hype train, which I'm pretty sure we probably did hit already, I don't know where the thing was. Oh, we're at level six, so there we go. Uh, so we are unlocked another $25 new egg gift card. Faith makes away, thank you very much for the resub. We are also giving away that stealth PC today. So uh, it's a 3070 with a 12700K uh, with all air-cooled, which was actually pretty cool. So it's not, it's not the quiet, it's not quietest because it doesn't have any I.O., but all in all, like it has less mechanical parts. It's using a U12A, um, absolutely fantastic build. So we'll be giving that away today on today's show as well to one lucky person. Now remember subscribers, you get extra entries towards that PC giveaway, but everybody is entered to win. Now, if you are worldwide, here's the deal. If you wanna enter outside of the United States, you basically, by, by entering, and if you win, you are signing up for all the duties, all the customs, and all the shipping to get it to your location. Sorry, uh, that's the way we make them international work, is you basically have to manage the hassle of getting the PC, which is Ooh. pricey, um, so it can be. So just be FYI, so if you're a little, if you're, if you're 18 and you think your parents are gonna be fine with that, they're not gonna be fine with like a $600 build, you know, a $600 bill sometimes. So just be cognizant of that if you're gonna enter, enter internationally. Uh, for people in the US, it's good to go. You just gotta fill out your tax forms and all that sort of stuff because Uncle Sam needs his money from your PC. So that's what's going on there. So those are all the giveaways that are happening today. So again, giving away. Oh, and we have two build mats as well that we're gonna be giving away that Blondie's gonna draw. Yeah, well, yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll get that squared away as well today. So that's gonna happen today. So that's all the giveaways. Uh, let me see if there's been any other questions. 236 people here so far. Just 122 monthly installments. No, no monthly installments at all. So, uh, what's up? Bernie Gaddis dropping two gifted subs. Thank you very much for that, Bernie. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so why don't we talk about what, oh, Sternum 1999 giving out five gifted, geez, guys. They're just giving <laughs> out the gifted subs. Keeping that hype train going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. The reason we weren't live for folks who were like, hey, what's going on? The reason we weren't live is because the stupid PC, uh, it needed to be updated, but it's fine now. It's look, actually it's running better than it ever has. So, you know, I, my recommendation usually for BIOS is that if it isn't broke, don't go and update it because sometimes it'll break things and all that sort of stuff. But in this case, it actually fixed something, which always makes me happy. Yeah. So, hey, squishy beat, by the way, thank you very much for the sub as well. Appreciate all of the people entering subs. Two minutes and 58 seconds left. But while we're doing that, why don't we talk about what we are putting inside of this PC, which is right at Riddick, 25 more gifted <laughs> subs. Lord, dude. Wow. It, yeah, it actually fixed something. Wow, that's crazy. I think that's like level nine, maybe? Eight, I don't know. I Eight? Level, level a bajillion? <laughs> is 750 watts? No. 850 watts is Igor dropping 10 gifted subs. Okay, uh, maybe we maybe this is just gonna be a stream where we do nothing but subs. That's all it's gonna be. Uh, Roby, an episode review stream idea, vertical and or upright GPU kits, worth it or worthless? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Swampy, what's up? Farger, 10 more gifted, okay. Wow, guys, thank you. This is incredible. Wow, what a nice last stream. Dang. <clears throat> Oh man, thank you very much guys. It really does mean a lot. Thank you very much for all of you guys for just getting so much hype going on here uh, and uh, making it crazy. So thank you. Uh, let's see where we are. Level eight's done. So on our way to level nine. <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna end it. Yeah, we're gonna end the year with a bang. Thank you very much for that. Bittersweet dropping five more gifted <laughs> subs. Cal Ral dropping five more <laughs> gifted subs. Wow, I really appreciate you guys very, very much. This, this stream may continue into next year. We're gonna build this PC. <laughs> I need to build it. I'm excited about this. Okay, so I did wanna let you guys know, I know a lot of people were asking when we did this last time, we did a build in this uh, using a, I forgot what was in this, uh, something. We put something in here with a 7950 XT, XTX. And the riser cable was having issues with the XTX. Now, uh, we did hear that their riser cable may potentially have issues here today. Uh, 
uh, I will let you know that uh, the fine folks over at Fractal will be sending out a replacement Gen 4 uh, riser cable at a later date um, if we have issues. So they are working on that. Everybody deserves Gen 4. But the fix, if we have a problem when we're done, is just to set it to Gen 3 until we get that new riser cable. And you'll see when we do the installation and stuff like this, the rise, this, isn't, this isn't a difficult build. It's just a kind of a fun, cool build. So should be neat from there. Okay, there we go. Three minutes and 34 seconds. We hit level nine. That, that, was, uh, that, was, that was not what I expected. So thank you very much. Um, so why don't we now, unless anybody has more subs, if not, we're good. We'll start going through por <laughs> parts. Uh, but you guys are so incredible. I really, I really do. It, mean, it does mean a lot. By the way, the build is not a $3,400 build. Uh, it's a $4,000 build. Unless, Tom, you can let me know. Did you, for, did you only put one... Gen, uh, one four terabyte or two four terabytes in there. Yeah, so we're doing a 50, I just want to like, cause if it did, if it's two, if two are in there, then it's right. If not, it's 4,000. Yeah, it's a pricey, it's a pricey build. Just a little bit. It's just a little bit. Yeah, this is, we're calling this the ultimate console, <laughs> uh, which makes a piece a PlayStation and an Xbox look cheap. Uh, because they are when they're only 600 bucks and this is four thousand dollars but this will run circles one circles around both of those very much so so yeah um which should be which should be pretty funny you could buy a series x for every room in your house yeah like if you did yeah you could do like what is it like that's almost i mean it was one point in time when somebody said this is that's a six thousand dollar build i was like dang that's 10 10 series x's but yeah why spend 4K on a computer? Because this actually does true 4K gaming <laughs> versus like the like the like the upscaling and all the things that the console does. This is significantly more powerful and does more with gaming than what you could do on that. So, yeah. Are we gonna do level 10? That's Riddick's challenge. We're uh, we're on the verge. We're two minutes left. Can we just get that last bit? Is what he what he's wondering. So, is there a hype train limit? There isn't. It goes <laughs> unlimited. Uh, we, we've. What is it? What's the highest you've ever gotten? Somebody remembers. It just happened. It just happened not that long ago. It was like last week. Igor, I like it. Igor's like you spin 4K on a computer because you 13. can. 13 is what we got <laughs> to. Okay, so we have a minute and 29 seconds left. Riddick threw down a community challenge. Oh, Victor dropped. Wow, oh, Farger. Oh wow. God. Okay, well there's 10. <laughs> There's 10, Victor and Farger dropping it in there saying, you know what? And then Igor dropping five more. <laughs> wow, you guys, it's, you're crazy. Twitch loves us. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, so kind. Okay, that's, wow. The giveaway is worldwide if you are willing to pay for the, if you're willing to pay for the shipping and everything else. No, Riddick really wants to be, go, <laughs> number, go, Riddick wants to be uh, number one there. So. He did it. <laughs> Hey, okay, there we go. Okay, so um, yes, you it, worldwide. If you pay for the duty and taxes involved with doing it worldwide, so hit Farger's like he wins. I'm done. Thank you, Farger. It's okay. You you have done more than enough. I appreciate it, my friend. It's at the end of the stream. Yes. Okay, so let's start getting this build going. We can start doing that because we hit level ten, so we're good. I don't think we'll get to 13. Okay, so let's start with the CPU actually. CPU. All right. Okay, so for the CPU that we're putting inside of this. It's so funny, like, uh, I had to make sure there was just something we could air cool. Um, so we're going to be using Ryzen 5, uh, Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Uh, from a gaming standpoint, I wanted something that just performed really well in gaming. And at the same time, we had the potential to air cool. I have no idea what temps are going to be like with this. But it has a tendency to run cooler than the 5800X, which is nice. Um, so I think it should be fine. I don't know, any thoughts? Uh... Not I enough. Like you, yeah, you, yeah. It, it runs Star Citizen well, from what I've heard. <laughs> it runs Star Citizen well. It's a sleeper. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Ryzen Seven. Even Ohio, Ohio is the only place we're not <laughs> allowing the giveaway to be. That's like that's above and beyond. Yeah. Yawning Salmon, thank you for the gifted sub. Wow, now we're literally on the ver verge of another one. We don't do interdimensional deliveries. Yeah, we also don't do the quantum verse, uh, and we also don't do the uh, Mars, which apparently, <laughs> which I don't know if you guys did anybody see this that they found like a lightsaber type thing on Mars. Like there's an image of somebody who found like a lightsaber type NASA. I don't know if that was real. Like I saw it like a passing. I was like, wait, what? So. Please clarify, what's wrong with Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, I'm just kidding about Ohio. We, we, you're, if you're in the US, you're good to go. <laughs> that's where I, Kurosaki's like, that's where I left it. 
<laughs> okay, guys, 6% left. Let's just end. Can we just get off this one? Sorry, the 94% is killing me. When it's still like less than 50, it's like whatever. But, dude, it's 94%. Um, all right, so there's our CPU. You want to grab our MOBO now? Yeah. So it has to be mini I or mini ITX, right? That's what I got here. Maybe this is micro. No, this is mini ITX. So B550i, yeah. Igor, taking it to 90. Oh, oh, you're you're <laughs> wow. a tease. You're a tease. <laughs> Igor <laughs> takes it to 99. So B550i from. Uh, uh, Oris, uh, which is a perfectly fine for a 5800X 3D. Now, this is interesting. CalRAL dropping a thousand bits, and there it is right there, 100%. Uh, cooler. I've never used this cooler. It's bigger than the one that we used on which, the last build. That's the power split, this one. And this is the NHL9X65. It does meet the dimensions. Unfortunately, it comes with that ugly brown fan. Uh, but, you know, we're here, it, you know, it, luckily the whole build is like, uh, the whole build is um, in the uh, inside of a pretty much just case you can't see. So that should be absolutely fine. El Ku Kashi, thank you very much for the gifted sub. One community sub, I appreciate that. Will the CPU bottleneck the 4090? No, not at 4K. And it, 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 basically every CPU bottlenecks the, the 4090 at 1440p in certain cases. The, the GPUs are just so ridiculously fast at this point. Now, hey, brown and tan is beautiful. Well, you know what, I'm, I'm, then I'm doing it for you, Igor. <clears throat> El Solo Doctor, oh, I remember his name. 22 months, man. Gotta love the Noctuas, yes, I agree. Thank you for the 22 months sub. Okay, uh, power supply. Power because supply. we need to make sure that this was properly powered and we need to use FSX, SFX, but this one's an FS SFXL. This is the SFXL SX100 from Silver, uh, sorry, 1000, 100 would be way underpowered, uh, <laughs> from Silverstone. So we'll have more than enough power for our RTX 4090 and our 5800X3D. Thanks to the fine folks at NVIDIA who've kind of fixed that whole um, you know, random transient power spike issues, which is good. Uh, more power, Captain. Okay, what, what do we got for RAM? Uh, you see it? We're testing it. This. Okay, for RAM, we've got, and huge shout out to Kingston for hooking us up with this. Kingston Fury, 3600 mega transfer, 32 gigs uh, at CL16. Oh, that's good. So CL16, 3600 megahertz RAM, which is more than fast enough for what we're doing here on our beautiful uh, AMD build. Uh, and then lastly, how much storage? Let's talk about this storage. Uh, that's right, two of them. <laughs> And another huge thing for uh, for the fine folks at Renegade coming in clutch, because you got to have storage. And the way that we did this, it's DDR4 because it's a 5800X 3D. Uh, four terabytes times two of Gen 4 NVMe storage. So this is, uh, which is unfortunate because it only has one Gen 4 spot, but it's uh, it's four terabytes of Renegade uh, at 7,300 megabits per second. So uh, megabytes per second. Uh, so we should be uh, we should be good there. Uh, so eight terabytes, that seems fine. Yeah, you can fit like two God cod games. I can, on there. Yeah, that's it. It's like <laughs> one per cod. You can do this is Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. So you have enough storage right there. So. So how about eight? We did eight terabytes. It's not four terabytes, it's eight terabytes. Two four terabytes. <clears throat> What's up, Nijia? How are you, man? It's good to see you. We should put them in RAID zero. No, that's so, <laughs> that's so weird. It's like you don't need to at 7300 at that speed. Okay, and then lastly, we need our GPU. And here it is right here. The final parts piece of the puzzle, uh, which we did test and fit last time. This is the very beefy GeForce RTX 4090 Founders Edition. Four plus four equals 44 terabytes. Yeah. 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 So there we go. Okay, so that is our build. Seems fine. Yeah. It's, you know, I every once in a while I like to do budget builds. <laughs> you know, we like to do budget PCs here on the show. Um, and uh, you know, this this feels like it's gonna be this is gonna be this is gonna be fine. So just, you know, again, just a just a nice budget build. Anybody can go pick this up. Uh, it's pretty much within, it's, it's certainly within a budget. <laughs> just, just not a low budget. That's true. Okay, so let's put everything away except for what goes on the MOBO. So we want to pop that in there, put that back. We'll grab the MOBO. There's our RAM. There's our, you can put that away for now. Okay. So we have all the fun stuff ready to go. Go ahead and open it. Let's go to top down. While you're doing that, go ahead and open it up, take out the MOBO. Okay. It's nice and small. I saw a budget on TV once. Yeah, <laughs> me too. 
<clears throat> it is a little boy. Yeah, this is a little boy for sure. That's is, pretty good though, Iron Master FTK. This tape is annoying. The case is an a, the case is the average size of a New York apartment. Oh, that's that's a nice fun fact for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's actually not true. Uh, it's probably bigger. <laughs> okay, so we're good there. Okay, let's get the knife because remember we take this build apart. Uh, maybe we might take this bird, but we might not. Who knows? It all depends on a on a whim. So a knife. A knife. There we go. If you want to take that out, I'll go ahead and un undo all this stuff. This one's always the interesting one because this one you have to like, in order to save this, you got to go like, there we go. Okay. I actually did this in frame. Okay, you got it? Okay, so just be careful, don't touch the pins. You're like, I know, I've <laughs> done this before. I've built a PC or two in my life. A PC or two. He's pro. Pro rated. Uh, what's your alignment? So it's gonna go this way. Oh, here you do that, and so it's gonna go like that. There you are, sir. There we go, it's Whoa. in. The build is in, it's done. Whoa. Turn it on, Max. <laughs> you didn't get it wet, it's not working. <laughs> There's no debug power. Yeah, button. ultimate power. Eeny bitty libby. You want to put, do all the peels there, sir? Mm. Mm. That is not good. There we go. Okay, let me get. Okay, so there is that. So why don't you? The next step for this whole thing is is a thermal paste. So what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna grab the NT. No, you're gonna have to do it the Robitech way. Have you ever done the Robitech way before? No. Okay, so let me, I'll show you what to do and then you can take it over from here. Okay. okay, so here we go. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this, you're gonna put like a pea size in the center there, about a pea size, just like that. A little bit more. There you go, that's good. Then what you're gonna do, just to make sure, just cover uh, like, a, like a birthday cake. Cover the entire IHS with thermal paste. All right. All the thermal paste. I think last time I built a computer for you, I forgot to take the plastic off the cooler. Oh, really? <laughs> that's <laughs> it fine. It was like 110 degrees. At it's idle. fine. Yeah, it was. It was fine. That, that's that's completely normal temperatures. Okay, so there's one four terabyte for us. This is surprisingly difficult. Oh, it's 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 an art form. I'm not an artist then. <laughs> yeah, we're putting thermal paste already because it doesn't dry out. You gotta you gotta be good, dude. This is like this is years of practice. We're we're putting you in the fire. I wouldn't buy a painting from me, but it is mostly covered. <laughs> okay, let me give it a gander. Okay, let me see it. This is the this is the this is the trick. You putting it on the side. Nothing. Versus like trying to do it like the distorted way, or sorry, that like with an uneven. If you do it, if you do your finger like this, it works really really well. A lot in that corner here. Now the reason we cover the uh, entire IHS guys, which actually it's not as much of an issue for uh, mini coolers now, but a lot of times is it's just to make sure that in some cases you will have AIOs or coolers that don't put equal pressure. And there are things you can do to modify the socket to be able to see, um, to create that. So for instance, things like the washer mod, on uh, 7,000, I mean on, on Intel, etc. Not so much of an issue on, um, on Ryzen, but the other thing too is a lot of people don't know is because of Ryzen chiplets, you wanna make sure that you have entire coverage for your IHS. And this is the best way to make sure that yes, my entire IHS is covered with thermal paste and I'm good to go. Uh, it is, it's not, it's not thicker, but I will say it is way easier to spread uh, than the cryonaut stuff. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit here. And now we can hand you these. 
And then your screwdriver what? is right here. And then we're gonna get huge. Yeah, that's the big one. <laughs> there you are, sir. Oh, let me pause that back over. Okay. okay, go ahead. I bought an iFixit kit a little while ago. I totally like the really iFixit kits, yeah. iFixit! I don't know if you like, I think it's just these two, right? Is it? I have no idea. Okay, I think it should just be those two, but you, you could be wrong, you could be right, I mean. And I could be wrong. I'm okay with being wrong. <clears throat> I spent like 50 bucks on the kit, and then 10 bucks on new thumbsticks, and then saved 120 bucks preparing my Xbox controller. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So he's just getting it undone. We're gonna have one that's gonna go in the back as well. That's the red locker. That seems like it shouldn't come undone. Is it really? Oh, dude, let's use a bigger, let's use a bigger screw thing. Cause I, do, I definitely know that it comes, I definitely know that's the way it comes. Hold on, let me see this. We want a really like thinner one, but not that thin. Let's try this. Oh, that came off a lot easier. There we go. Right tool for the right job. Yeah. It's weird that it didn't, yeah, it was being kind of wacky. This is a long, I remember that. Okay, cool. Now, you have an even, you have another cooler. The double cooler. Double cooler on this one, guys. Twice as cool. Okay, there we go. Now, if you want to do the peel on the top. I, I almost take, forgot that. It, you know, it's funny because, well, I mean, you still want some thermal transfer between the, the heat, even the one that's on there, because the stickers are actually thermal pads on these, but you're still, you want to make sure. Okay, popping in. So this is four terabytes. Hey, okay, this is dual layer? Yeah. Oh, you want to go to the top, right there. Just like set it on. Oh, yeah, just set, oh no, it should click in. Should be a nice solid push, there you go. Oh, there you go. It acts like a screwdriver. I mean, like a, like a diving board. That's how you always know it's in. You know, you know, pop, pop it, pop it, pop the little screw back in there. World's smallest screw. And that goes there. Yeah, and you don't actually have to keep the other heat spreader on if you don't want to, but it's up to it's up to us. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna look while you're doing that. I'm gonna look at this. A decent price X99 board. Oh, those are getting hard to get kind of now. They're not quite going down. Yeah, looks like it. It's like. Is it covering it? It's covering it, but okay, the screw it. definitely would not go in there. Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that 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 great thermal pad. Okay, that would that oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, this one's got that weird. I realize what's going on here. It almost does seem like it's dual layer, right? But we have another one on the bottom. It's this. Oh. It needs to go, so this goes down on top. I've done this before, and it's, we need. That seems dumb and annoying. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. He's like, that seems dumb and annoying. It, it's because it is, okay. There we go. You got it, there's another screw on this. And the other thing too is I'm not entirely sure. Sometimes this takes off the whole nut. So. In this case, it did not, okay. There we go. Hold on, let me get this. There we go. Okay, we got, this is, this is, we're doing surgery. <laughs> Massive amounts of surgery. Roby Tech surgery. Yep. Okay, there we go. Now. Yeah, that's right. Put this on, I guess you started with this here. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing that weird angle thing. I forgot about this. I've actually worked on this board before and I remember one time we had to like, try like 15 different tools. Cause we're like, this won't come off. Okay, there you go. There's so many better ways to design that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why they did that. It's weird. And then now that sits on nicely, and now you need this one, right? Yeah. There you are, sir. Okay, work is happening. Thing PC build is coming together. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's honestly, it's just welcome to the world of Twitch. They want to make money, apparently. Heavy rain coming! Wow, that's good. That's good for uh, that's good for uh, the folks at Arizona, I think. Is it just not going on? It's not magnetic, which is what is going on. It's like the worst. 
It's, just, it's definitely a magnetic screwdriver. Hmm. I was not the chosen one. It just takes a lot of practice, my friend. Okay, now you can do that one. This one. Okay, here we go. Okay, now he's now we've got the extra heat sink in. There we go. And we now have it complete. The M.2 special cooling that included with the motherboard or the M.2 RobyTech. What do you mean? This whole cooler is with the motherboard. Yeah, this this cooler comes with the motherboard. Um, it's just like now it's just extra layered. Okay, you've got one more M.2 to install, sir. It's equally dumb. Yeah, this one's actually not bad. This oh. one you can just take off with a screwdriver. So that one should be that one should be fine. It's got that extra layer on it though. Oh, the whole thing came off. Oh man. Yeah, we need to yeah. sock it. Okay, so let's do, yeah, that's fun. Okay, it's the, I think it's this one. Set it in. I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. It's this one. There you go. Okay. Uh, let me have the, oh man, this is the same size. Do they have an adapter between them? No, I have another small screwdriver though. I think it's, you can use this. I can do this too. <laughs> Let's use two iFixits. When two iFixits come together, nothing can take them asunder. There we go. Wow, that was a lot of work. It's not <laughs> supposed to be this kind of work, guys. Okay. Did you put the flat, did you put the little header on? No, I was just checking which slot it needed to be. Oh. Oh, 22, yeah, it's 2280, unless it's, oh, here you go. Unless it's not. Yeah, unless it's not. Which is like, there's not very many of the 2260s or the 20, 2110s, so. This is going great. <laughs> ITX, oh really? Cause it's just got a lot? Yeah, I think that one you're gonna have to start with your fingers. It is, it is interesting, right? Like in terms of, they did do a lot of stuff to this board, which makes it difficult to work with. Like, I, like, like for instance, the fact that I needed to remove, that we needed to remove a top on top of the M.2. It's like, well, why? And then at the same time, it's like, then it's so sticky, it didn't work very well. And yeah, it's just like, it's like, okay. Not a first timer friendly board. No, definitely not. In any, that's most, that's most, that's, I think that's most ITX builds, right? Why do you just not want to stick? Where did, oh, did I get rid of one of the screws? No, I have it. No. It just doesn't want to magnify. Let me try, let me try mine. <laughs> let me, let me try my magical powers. They say I have the hands of a surgeon. <laughs> Apparently I didn't. <laughs> I don't have the hands of a surgeon. It's like, man, it's like, wow. You're right, it's just, it's just not going to stick. Nope, nope. Oh, oh. That's no, like, okay, this is, that's just a bad idea, hold on. <laughs> I'm not gonna be lazy, I'm just gonna grab my magnet here. Okay, so it is magnetic, because it does work with that. Okay, let's try this one. Let's see if this one makes it better. Here we go. You're like, so far this M.2 is like the most challenging portion. Okay, that one. Someone said like... that the screwdriver doesn't have a magnet. Well, that might be why. But now we've learned. That would explain it. Yeah. Well, there we go. Calral says, well, actually this one, this one seems to act magnetic. See, look, it's sticking to his head. That seems, look, it looks just stay, look, watch this. See, it stays there. <laughs> yeah, works great. <clears throat> All right, so we're good there. So it's time for the Ram. You guys saw it stick. I mean, his, his, his head is metal. He's a heavy metal rocker. Okay, guys. Time for clicks. Let's do, we haven't done these before. So let's say 95-ish, 95. We only got two chances though. So we're gonna let him do the clicks though. So let's grab the, uh, let's grab the audio. There it is. We're gonna see how loud this is. Okay, we're gonna pause. 
You hit pause on the music. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Here we go. So let's get the 95 clicks or higher. We have to wait for the prediction to get done. So we just take these out and drop them like waffles. Like waffles. There we go. Huge shout out again to Kingston for hooking us up with the storage and the RAM for this thing. It's going to be, dude, it's so funny. It's so much RAM. Oh, not actually the RAM's not that much, but the, but the, but the storage, eight terabytes, man. Now, these are only 16 gig sticks. Yeah, 32 gigs total. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, you know, we're not, we didn't want to be crazy. Okay, we got to still, oh, wait. To it's wait. almost done. It's almost done. He's getting excited. I am ready, <laughs> the Igor, I'm ready to lose my, my 1,000 coins. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's because of the case. Hey, okay, you're good. You're good. Here we go. Here we go. First one, 95. It's at 52. So we're going to put it right there. Okay, there you go. And then you're going to... That's backwards. <laughs> that's okay. You're going to learn. Okay, so what you're going to do, best way to get good clicks is both sides. Two thumbs. All right. Three, two, one, go. 86, I think is what that, 86.2. But he had some practice. He had a warm-up round. <laughs> he had a warm-up round, 86.2. This is the one. This is it. This is the one. It's going to be, it felt pretty, it sounded pretty good. Three, two, one. 94.2! <laughs> it was so close! Rip the Guys, that is where, that's where the mic always sits. It's always that close. We never put it any closer than that. That's the same way we do it every time. Mike, no, it wasn't an inch away. It was 12 inches away. <laughs> I don't understand what the issue is. The answer is no, guys. We put it about the same distance every time. To give no RAM any undue advantage when it comes to it. I was just trying to cheat. My 9.5K points. Okay, so now, guys, let's go ahead and start the music again. Let's see how this goes, because I don't actually know. Um, so we're going to find out what this goes in. Go ahead and cam link on here. Uh, Top left. There you go. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I'm not, I have no idea how this goes together. It's not a good name for that scene. You should change that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Noctua is really good at naming things. Oh, dude, they, they, yeah, the L9X6, well, the 65 is the height. I do know that. Okay, that kind of makes sense. But the L9 is just, I think it's low profile, I don't know. Let's see. Hey, FMF Doc Cupcake, what's up, dude? It's been a long time since seeing you in here. What's up, Doc? It's good to see you. There it is. It's small. It's small. Yeah, it's very small. Okay, so there is our cooler. It's a bit bigger than the L9i. So don't put it on yet. You just oh. got thermal paste on it, <laughs> you knock. <laughs> I thought there was a... <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a cover. Okay, well, we gotta fix our thermal paste real quick. Uh, it's actually fine. You didn't, you got barely any, okay, so we're fine. It's actually okay, it barely got any on it. So we're, and it's got plenty still there for you. So we're good. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's see how this works. AM5, we got Intel set. My favorite part about this is they always come with uh, thermal paste, which makes me happy. You can regrow re your collection. I can regrow my collection, exactly. So we'll regrow the collection here. Another tube goes into the, the, the barrier. That was like quite the, that's like been abused, I think. Okay. So we want the AMD, where those the Intel set? Oh, there's the AMD set. It was like, we're not even gonna put it in the same they're not even gonna label it AMD set. They're like jerks. They just assume you're using AMD. They're like, they're like, oh, that would be a change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first thing we're gonna do, you're gonna remove the bracket. This the black, one. yeah, the, the black brackets on there, yeah. Good job. Oh, congratulations, Boris. That's awesome. He's getting his, his CLX build. Your driver spins really uh, nice. No, it's enough. not. But the good thing is, is that this does have flashback. So thank you for letting me know that. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Put that in here for now. 
Boom. Boom. Okay, that is out. We have done step one. Be awesome. Okay, step two. Open this. Which we, which we don't use our we don't use our mouths. We use skizzers. Too sophisticated. We are too so yeah. Skizzers it is. Okay, so this is the part. So go and go to top down. Uh, okay. Okay, so for this part, what you're gonna do is you're going to put these in, oh wait, okay, so it's gonna go like, okay, so this, see how they have this, I wanna make sure this is the same direction. Okay, there it is. Yeah, like that, that's how they have it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is this, these go on the little knobs like so. There you go, little knob. Okay, and then this goes in towards it, okay? So you're gonna take these, I'm gonna let you place these, and then these goes in, with the turn plugging going in, you put it on like that. Don't touch the thermal paste. <laughs> <laughs> Not like last time. Not like last time, just being careful. And then you're gonna screw it in, yep. Okay, and then screw those in. There we go. Mobo is almost done. Okay, so there's that one. Let's give it a nice solid one. Okay, there we go. Okay, and repeat with the next one. All right, uh, oh, you're right on there. I gave them to you, yep. That goes in there, that goes in there. Look at him, he's pro, guys. What's up, Twisted Was here? How are you, man? It's good to see you. Then Neon Bear, thank you for the resub. Goes in. There we go. Next one. Okay, so that is good. This one, it looks like we don't even need to take the cooler off. Okay, we're tight. Yep. Okay, so this one, it says we don't even need to take the cooler off. You can actually reach in from the side, it says, with this craziness. Ah, it seems weird. Look, it shows it going through, see? Oh, so, oh, I see, okay. Okay, so there is our, here's our, where's our CPU fan? Right there, okay, cool. Because there is our, okay, there is our stuff like this. Okay, then move your fan seat. Okay, so let's use this one, here. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh. Excalibur! Okay, so you're just gonna go through the sides. It says it goes, okay, there you go. And then start tightening a little bit on one side and then switch to the other side. I think that's the wrong way. What, why do you think it's the wrong way? It lines up with the screws. Based on my limited knowledge, it seems correct. He's like, it's big. Based on his limited knowledge of... Is it on? Uh, I'm, it's not, I'm not even sure if it's threading on to... I think it's just taking forever to actually... I have no idea. Oh, weird, okay, hey, let me take a look. Let me give it again. Oh, you gotta push, dude. <laughs> There we go. Okay, finish tightening that. <clears throat> oh, they actually have him on there. Hi, is your High Demon 79? Is that you? Oh, never mind. No. Ma yeah, Max actually has a Twitch handle. Uh, it's Max from Max. Okay. Except I think it has three X's somewhere. Yeah. I remember. Or maybe it's one X. I can pull it up. It's triple X Max. I think it's one because it's normally it's Max from Max, and it's usually two X's in the middle. Maximum is spelled, and then max with, I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. He's doing a really good job of not knowing. But anyway, he's here. He I says, could... hey, Max, let's follow you. Oh, yeah, we, we wish we could, but we don't know Max's info. I can find it. He'll find it. Once I'm done screwing We're just down. trying to, we're trying to get it all, not all, all, all set up here. There Max is streaming us building a PC right now. 
Well, okay, so that is higher than the L9i. It has a good job with clearance. And he's gonna look it up. There we go. Cool, there we go. There is our motherboard. That was a lot easier, a lot like an L99. Actually, even easier than an L99. But that's cool that you don't have to. I guess you could use the L9i fan. If you wanted to use the black one and we wanted to, we could actually do that. And not have the brown. But you guys seem really partial on the brown. You're like, keep the brown, Roby. All right, what's the best way to show this? Okay, I will put it, let me put it in chat, guys. You guys okay. want to see it? Here we go. Here's, if you guys want to follow Max. Okay, M-A-X-I-M-U. What an accusation. <laughs> There you go. There it is right there. Oops, no, that was that was not it. I'll put it in over here. M A X I M U M A X X. It's normally it's two M's in the middle normally. But there you go. Someone else took it. Like so. a jerk. Yeah. Okay, well, Excalibur came out for the build, guys, so <laughs> you know this is a legit build when Excalibur comes out. Okay, next up, guys, let's get our case taken apart. Oh, let's go to Cam Link if you want to move it to Cam Link. So cool. Okay. So luckily, the motherboard doesn't take up a lot of room. Okay, so <laughs> now we're going to strip this down all the way, so you want to take those two out. Get this all the way done. It comes out pretty easily. That's quite easy. And they're captives. That's pretty nice. Yeah. This this is a this is a great, great case. My case just causes you to overheat if you keep the front <laughs> panel on. <laughs> okay, next up, what I'm gonna have you do. So this is all the stuff you have to take apart to, to do this. I'm gonna have you take this two screws, those two screws those two screws and those two screws off, yep. And then we'll start saving them, yep. Okay, let's go to top down then. Since you're zooming out, I'll take care of it. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Is there like a parts area? Or do you just kind of- I just the put them off to the side here, yeah. Right. So we can lose them later. Who needs the screws? They're all the same size though? Yep, yeah, which makes it easy. So you can replace them. These four? Yeah, you're gonna replace those four and then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Flip it over. There we go. Ooh. There we go, perfect. We're just working our way through it. I can pull this off because it's magnetic. This case is so much better than mine. <laughs> okay, cool. So now you're just gonna take those off. There's one, perfect. I'm gonna hand me the second one. That's two. That's two. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to prep for the next part. So go ahead and take these three screws off. There we go. There we go. And this is just all to get ready for the build. Okay, cool. There's our riser cable. Okay, next up, what we're gonna have you do is because we're gonna get to the, well, might put the MOBO in first, but this is the PSU stuff. So we might actually go ahead and uh, undo these two screws. Taking hey, Joey's World, thank you very much for that. We're taking the whole thing apart. Oh yeah, it's like, it pretty much comes all the way down. Skyscanner, thank you very much for the sub. Kongamaniac, thank you for the sub. Najia also as well. Okay, perfect, you can flip it over. And then there's a screw here and here. And then one more right there, and then you'll kind of hear it fall out, I think. Should. No falling. All right, that's good. 
That's there we go. that whole bracket. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have everything kind of clean and ready to go. What we can do is we're gonna go ahead and install our motherboard, and that's gonna go in right there. That should be just enough height for this 65 millimeter. Okay, let me grab the screws, which I think are in here. Logix 225, thank you for the resub. This. There you go. You look like you're in. Mostly. Being picky. I mean, the screws weren't aligned. That's not really being picky. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not picky at all. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so there's one screw. And we have four more, I think, right here. There we go. There's another one. You might want to use these, the larger. This is actually, these are, that's magnetic. Oh, not that one. That one's, this one's magnetic, so it's going to be easier. Oh, that's quite nice. Let's put it up so people can see. That is important. Perfect. Oops. Mission failed. <laughs> we'll get them next time. Is it quite lined up? Not quite lined up? Yeah. You want to get some pressure right here? Yeah, that'd be helpful. Here we go. Yes. It's a tight tolerance case. There you go. Okay, cool. Now you can do another screw. There's two more. These corners should go in well. Yeah, they should be. Those should be pretty straightforward, guys. Stand-ups are already installed, guys. And they were already there. This standoff decided it wanted to unscrew itself. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's not quite. Okay, I see. Okay. Here, let me hand. Look out for one second. We have a. We have a. Uh, we have a. We have a. We have a cheater. A lot of funky things with this build. It always happens. It's never. It's never straightforward. Those cables are quite in the way. Yep. It's okay. Just need to grab this one right here. Hmm. The problem is this side you can't remove. It really flat out just came out. I can screw it. Yeah, you can screw it back in. I think. Oh, I see. It's but like the, cross -threaded. yeah, it was cross threaded. Which is always why when you guys do builds like this, the one thing that's always worth in checking is doing it lightly at the first, right? So that way you don't end up with a situation like this. I don't know if we have another another standoff. I have I mean I have more in there, but it's good. I mean it, it'll be fine for this build. But yeah, the whole standoff came out. Let's try and see if I can Yeah, I'm not excited for cable management. <laughs> oh it's not bad. I suck at it anyways. Even without having space restrictions. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Get this. Try to see if we can get a good angle on it. There you go. Let's see if we can get that up. No. Okay. We're just gonna have to leave it like that. Oh, I know what it can do. Hold on. Oh yeah. <laughs> isn't done. Yeah, that one wasn't even put in. Yeah. No, 
Okay, there we go. Now we can get to the unfortunate. It's not quite all the way out yet. That standoff got destroyed. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now when you have something like this, which we're gonna have to do some surgery, yeah. You have to go like this. Hold on. Okay, good. They did surgery on a standoff. There we go. Cool. There we go. What if that's the wrong screw? They spread in. Yeah, I think it doesn't want to spread in that well. Yeah, that looks like the wrong screw. They don't even look like those are the right size. That would do it. That's why that didn't work. All right, let's get another. St well, the stand up's probably fine then. Stand up's fine, yeah. Okay, let's put the stand up back in and put the right screw in. That seems like a good idea. Not that one, this one. Okay. Nope, not that one either. Okay, cool. There you go. You want to grab a. Where is the other? Oh, there it is. Tried to put the wrong screw in there. That did not help us. Oh, yeah, these are different sizes. Okay, that will fix that. All right, that should be in. Okay, cool. Okay, now you can put that back in. Is it okay to hold this by the cooler? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. It seems like the best way to manipulate it without risking touching some other more important stuff. There's nothing important on there. Like capacitors. Yeah, who knows? You, you don't need those. Nah. I too love pliers. Okay, there we go. Okay, now you should, here's the right screws. That would be helpful, if giving you the right size screws. It would be a little bit helpful. Okay, here we go. No, Braxilis, this is just for fun. This is just a fun, fun because I was like, you know, we were, we actually did, so what happened was, is we did this build, we did a version of this build before, and I was like, and we, and I was like looking at it, and I was like, you know what, a 4090 would fit in this. And so we test fit a 4090 FE, and I was like, well, wait a minute, if I, if I can do a 4090 in this, then I need to do a 4090 in this. So we got done, and I was like, okay, let's put a 4090 in here. So that's what, that's essentially what, how the whole thing started. And so now we're doing a console replacement build with a 4090. Um, except for it's like way more expensive than a console, but still console replacement. That's, we're gonna get, we're gonna stick with that. Feels fine. Feels like a fine, fine thing for today. CPU is a 5800X 3D because we need to make sure we can air cool it. So there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of, I'm afraid it goes up there. There's a little bit of guessing because we think that this cooler is going to be good enough to air cool it, um, but we're, there's a, we'll have to find out. No, no, my nephew just wanted to do a cool build. And I was like, well, then you should come and do this one with us. Okay, so now, if you want to grab our PSU. This boy. Yeah, the SFXL. We're going to get this mounted. Okay. All that space up there is for the GPU? That's all. Well, the GPU is going to take up all that space. <laughs> okay, so we are going to, all we need is, oh, and oh, I'm going to grab... Okay, so there, go ahead and pop that open. This may have, we actually have, I actually have a Silverstone cable for this. Okay, so there's our little cable, there's our little power supply. There we go. This table is getting crowded. Yeah, if you wanna put this, we'll just be nice to this, because we're gonna, we, we pro probably gonna put it back, so that can stay in there. We have more than enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do here I don't know, Baraxis, I haven't decided yet. 
Attention, please remove before use. That seems pretty straightforward, <laughs> but they probably, like at one point in time, they didn't have that on there, and some guy was like, I don't understand. It all melted and everything came apart. All right, so what we'll need for this PSU is we'll need lots of power, three actually, the individual ones. We'll have a single CPU. Are you using these cables? For yeah, yeah, we're gonna use those cables, yep. Boom. How will this not blow up very carefully? It'll be a very slow, controlled explosion. Yeah. We'll, we won't be close to it when it goes off. Okay, so let's see here. These, hopefully we got enough. They give us enough. Okay, so this is our 24 pin. That seems useful, right? Mm, a little bit. You know, you, you probably need this. Seems kind of key here. How many PCIe powers do we need? Uh, we'll need three. And then we'll need one CPU. Are we trusting these split off cables? Yeah, we'll want to do three of those. Oh, these are all individual, what? Yeah, well, I mean, there's... Oh no, they're double. All right, yeah. Two. Kind of a weird, I've not seen a connection like this. It's weird, okay. It's like splits it to four. I've never seen it split it to four. Okay, so there's two, I need three. Oh, we're not doing the double? No, 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 no. Okay. Not for a 4090. You want three <laughs> individual. Okay, so there's that. And then we need a CPU. CPU. Should be, should, right, right there, EPS. That's it. Oh, okay. They give us any single ones? I'm assuming no. No single. PCIe? Yeah. EPS. No, nope, that's SATA. I don't think we have any SATA. Yeah. I don't think SATA. Nope, there's nothing SATA about this build. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We got all of the cables here. And this. And then that one. Okay, cool. Oops, you mind picking that up? Okay, let's take a second. And before we get to that, let's clean up our, We since this is all set now, let's clean this up and get this put away. So we shouldn't need anything else in here. Just for the SATA comment, oh, the dad joke. Okay, guys, well, we got a dad joke. We'll have a, now, we'll have a, Roby Tech. Dad joke. Phone out. we'll have uh, Max read that when we oh, get to no. it. He's got to read the dad I'm joke. I'm not a dad. That's okay. You're, we're going to give you, we're going to have, have, we're gonna have you early, yes, it would be, but we'll have, <laughs> it'll be early practice for you. It's never too early to start doing dad jokes. <laughs> What was up? There was one that I, oh man, I wish I could remember. It was super funny. Um, I'll see if I can find it, but I'll, I'll give you, I'll get, I don't worry, I have plenty of them. It'll be pretty straightforward. We'll see if you laugh. You'll probably be like, oh, that's cringe, <laughs> but that's okay. That's, that's what you should do. Okay, if you want to grab that for me. Cool. There we go. And then we've got three here. I need, let's go and grab the ones out of here too. Oh, those are like, okay. She gave you thumb screw ones. Yeah, I did not expect to be punished. <laughs> That's not punishing. <laughs> you should feel privileged. It's not punishing. You guys, you guys are giving a, uh, hit me the, this and then the blue thing right over there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's not punishing. <laughs> it's like a privilege to get early dad jokes done. You guys are talking, oh, let's put all these away. You guys are corrupting his mind. <laughs> Here, you can put those tools in that thing over there. There we go. The Red Ripper. Okay. I think we know that the airflow like this is like this. This goes on the top. All right, that goes on the top. Gotta make sure and then we'll yeah, because that clips in. Okay, cool. Okay, so these, this is gonna go right here. Flat standards exist. I wish it was for like everyone. No, it might, it might have lined up, hold on. We need to get ISO on this. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, here we go.
Dragon does not play well, well with the power plug. No, it does not, is it? Oh, that's what I realized, huh? Dremel time. <laughs> What is the heck? Why would they do that? There we go. Ah, gotta be smarter than the pl the plug. Okay, we are putting in screws. You have all of them? There's three over there, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, there'll be three more in there. Okay, guys, we're getting it in. I thought dad jokes were concussion related. 10% rule. That one's not quite. There you go. Here, try it on this side first, actually. Bracket is really suffering with this thing. first actually. <laughs> Hopefully one of these will work. What is the minimum? Four. Mm, I'll raise you two. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, well, we'll do two. Okay, that one went easily. I'm wondering if the screw, like the ones are, some of them are different thread sizes. So it feels like. Mm, perhaps. And then you're now on the right thread size. Mm. Yeah, cause that one went in easier. Not super easy, but did go in. Okay, we are on the last of the PSU screws. Let's put this in now. Okay, go ahead and take this. We'll just screw those in for now and then we'll start hooking stuff up. Okay, so go to top down, go into top down. Now they can see, you didn't hit it. Okay. Oh, you did. okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So now we're getting this to the point where it's basically in. A little bit longer than the last one we used, but we should still have plenty of room for all of our cables and everything like that. Okay, cool. Now we have our power plug that needs to run up here, which is fine. So we'll run that last. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run our main cables. Any four pin. Yeah, we'll probably run that one last. I'm just trying to see where all these. So this is H, this is USB-C, which is, does it have USB-C? Does it? This might be a B550 that doesn't. It's not on a lot of mini ITX builds, mini ITX boards, so that one will stay down there. Okay, so next up is USB-3. Okay, and that one goes right in there. Just make sure you do straight down. Don't bend pins. I think I have bent USB pins before. That is the right direction, yeah. There we go. Okay, that sounds like it clicked in. Okay, so we got USB in now. Uh, yes, on this one it was because I wanted the best game, of all the best gaming CPUs, which are all 13th gen or 7000 series, the rest of them do have thermal issues for air cooling. Okay, so this one is that's gonna go, far. oh that's too far, yeah. Keep going. The input lag. <laughs> Keep going, there you go. So this one is gonna go right here on that white one right there. Autofocus, you wanna work? No. This is when it does that thing sometimes. There we go. Okay, there it goes. Now it's out of focus. Oh. Okay, exactly. cool. So you're going to want to do this, and that's going to go into that one way over there. Uh, 
It's fixed. We we got it fixed, guys. Wait, what? Yeah, you see the filled pinhole? Goes right here. Oh. That's where the white is. I don't know why. I had so much trouble aligning that in my head. <laughs> and some of it is just you get after a while you just get really good at it. Did it work? My head is totally blocking it. In whack. That is the right size. Oh, is that trying to go into the wrong connector? Maybe. Was it white one? Is that the one you were going? Trying oh, I was, to go go I was going into that one. Oh yeah, that wouldn't work. Yeah. Okay. Which is why it wouldn't work in your head. Yeah. Okay. Uh, powers. Powers right there. So there's two. So top. Uh, oh, these are going to be tricky. So power plus, and you want you want me to do it? Or yeah, you, you can just okay. deal with that. I don't like. He's like he's like I hate panel. these. Okay, he's like nope, I'm not doing the front panel. I've dealt with enough front panel in my days. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this off, unfortunately. Oh yeah, that's in just a bad spot. I like how you said in my days. I just realized that. I was like, wait a minute. In my days. My many days. I don't even know if you're able to say that. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll just plug this back in. You bent, you didn't bend any pins, so I can't bend any pins. Okay. If you would have bent them, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm free to bend. <laughs> okay, so we have no USB C. Okay, so all we're gonna do here, actually pretty straightforward, is just, ooh, what's this? Yeah, it's just the same cable. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of cable management. Want that right there, which is fine. Run that under there. No, we have a, there's a merge view with chats. Yeah, we can see all the chats. All the chats. Twitch is on the left. Uh, Raider dashboard, and then right has a merged view. We can see all the chats. There is no hiding from our chats. We can see you all. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That takes care of that. It's so neat. Are you gonna not let me be plug in this way? Okay, well, let's do this. Actually, hold on. We can move this. Never. Okay, we're just plugging in yeah. the top. <laughs> the, the, yeah, you're like, <laughs> I don't give up. Never give up, never surrender. Give up. There we go. Okay. Find the easier way. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, sometimes like the amount of time versus just unscrewing it that you would spend. It's like, okay, it's just faster to unscrew it, even though you don't want to, because you're sometimes you're trying to fight the laziness. <sighs> GFRO. Gra hey, Maxwell, grandma says hi. You too, old man. Oh, hi. <laughs> Why am I the old man? It's not you're... fair. Because I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we got that now. The one cable that we haven't run yet, I just want to have these cables kind of under control for in the in the in the temporary. And then again, the, the riser will hold that over. I'm just gonna keep this in. But the one thing that's important, if you can hand me in here, take this out. In there, there's the there's little snippers, the, those right there. These ones. Okay. Perfect. Oops. Oh. Okay, uh, if we want to go ahead and get the, uh, the... Oh, of course you're gonna be a pain now. If you want to get... Z 
Zip time in, zip time in. Guess the count of them if you can. Even Zars, okay. you can know. Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip time man. I think for this one, what we'll do is we'll actually put this here. Channel points, big rewards. Things that you can put them towards. Can he sing? Yes, he can. He's so there it is, guys. Get your channel, get your votes in. How, is it going to be evens or odds, guys? Is it going to be evens or odds is the question. Am I allowed to enter? Uh, you can guess, but you're not. You're okay. here now. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really go. I can rig it. <laughs> you could. I guess there's a potential for that. It doesn't really get you anything. I mean, I could win channel points if you I was could. allowed to enter. Yeah, you could, you could win channel points. But people would think very unhighly of you if you started <laughs> rigging their, their competitions. Just go with whatever one is. Just win a bunch of people, a ton of points. It's it's funny because they almost fit. They almost go 50-50. like in terms of the the points, like what what people choose. I mean, it's thirty thousand versus one hundred and fifty thousand right now. Oh, what what's the vote? What's the most of them? I guess it's like, oh yeah, wow, people are like, we should totally get the 150,000 one. <laughs> Some people bet against the odds, right, for sure, but I don't know if the if we have a particular odd. We've kind of hit, we have a kind of a normal amount for both. Yeah. <laughs> We'd think highly if you rigged in our favor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what we're doing right now is just getting this cable out of control here. I mean, in control. <laughs> okay, so now let's grab our 24 pin. Okay, you want to plug that one in? Someone dropped 100,000 channel points. <laughs> <laughs> so people vote. I mean, this is a big deal. I used a, oh, Justin Jam dropped 100K. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and stretch real quick uh, while he's putting that in. Getting pretty far along in the build here. That great, yeah, that little pop out is kind of a pain. Why does the pop out exist? I don't know. Some of them, some of them, they don't. They can make you can make them whole. This one said, you know what? Not me. I'm gonna make it a pain. I'm gonna just put the pop out in part way. Okay. Yeah, While he's looking for that, we'll get the dad joke lined up, guys. Oh no. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Is it working? Oh, it's just dark. I'm gonna get a flashlight in there. I don't know how much it will help, but. Okay, I'll, I'll help you here in a minute. That's not working. Hold on, let me do this. Uh, we got, we got there. He's trying to get it. This is annoying. Just not going in? It doesn't want to get aligned well. This bend is just too much for it. It's too much for it? Okay, let me see what we got. That's the other way, by the way. It's this way. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, you're nervous. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, don't worry. Everybody has made that mistake. <laughs> Everybody has made that mistake. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get that down there. Okay, that takes care of that. Needs it nice and clean. Okay, now what we need is our, okay, so let's see this one. It's kind of hard, but we'll get you to run it. See it? And it's gonna go, yeah, yeah that direction. Now, guys, everybody has made that mistake. 
Let's be clear. And that one you can do one at a time if you want to do like the right one and the left one if, it, if it's a little bit easier. So the clip is on the outside. Yeah, the clip's on the outside, so you're good. This is a point. Yeah, I'm not building a form, small form factor. No, here. small form, here, you want me to hold it? Yeah. Small form factors are not, they are not for the faint of heart. There's just a lot, a lot of room to do stuff. And that, you know, I'll be honest, that is in a very bad spot. Like, it's hard to get to. This is where you get, like, crazy finger dexterity to get things to, to do things. You're like, uh. And, it, and on the other side, you can actually remove this top bracket, but on this one, you can't. And it'd be nice if you could, because then you could get in there and just connect it. Well, there is less to hook up. Because the cooler, anytime we use a, anytime we use a uh, a full blown cooler, wow, that's actually a pain. Anytime we use an air cooler, it's, it's really it's teasing you. He's <laughs> like, this has got to go in. I'm supporting him. Look at how I'm supporting. I'm being very supportive. This is not, what he's doing right now is not easy, by the way. Did you get it in? I can't see. No. Nope. No. Oh my gosh. That's brutal. Oh, I heard a click. No. Nope. Not even close. Not even close. He's trying to get it in, guys. You need like a POV camera for this. Wait, wait, he says way too fat. Roby, did you ever decorate your Christmas tree with RGB? It does have RGB. It did have RGB, yes. <clears throat> but the Christmas lights are always RGB. So I kind of feel like that's like kind of cheating to say that you did RGB. It's kind of an easy way. Uh, Kurosaki, some of them you can, like I could replace this brown one with, they actually think I have a black version of that fan, but they do have what are called the black versions of them. But the, and they have a gray and black, but they don't have many other colors. They do have like other color adapters. Yes, finally. Oh, you got them both in. Look at that. Okay, here we go. That was very pro, dude. Oh, that's not right. We're gonna, just kidding. I mean, you should do that again. <laughs> like, nope, sure. I'm out. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Okay, so that one, we're gonna see, there's not really a closer place. Let's move it one step closer. Give it a little bit more room. There we go. And we can do that corner pretty well. Okay. Okay. Right now I'm just working on cable management here. And it's 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 just the SFX, like because this is an FS SFXL, it's a little bit longer. Than most of our other ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to zip tie these two together. That makes it four. There we go. We'll try and make it look as nice as possible. There's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do to make this. I can only make it as clean as it wants to be. Probably do one right there just to. A little, little bit more cleanliness. Yeah, it's five now. Oh. So the people counting at home. Oh, you're helping him. <laughs> I'm just, I'm an independent third party in this. <laughs> <laughs> in this cable management efforts. Well, in the in the grand scheme of things, well, I mean, yeah, he's like, there's still there's still a chance to vote. On average, when some of the builds, it's like usually between 20 and 30 zip ties per build. So it's a lot of it's a lot of zip ties. Okay, that looks actually pretty nice. Okay, let's clip these. I think I have five in my build. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> there we go. It looks fine enough. It's a dark case and the RGB blows it out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's all that.
Okay, that looks good. This is going to get held by that. These, I'm actually going to do a little bit different. I'm actually going to store as many of this stuff into here as possible because we're going to use a different cable, which I need to go grab. So I need this to be flat. Oh yeah, that's the weird NVIDIA one. Yeah, we got, well, we have a different NVIDIA one. So I'm wondering if I can, how much of this I can jam into this corner here. Not much. Not much, I might be able to put it down here. I have some room down in the front here because the riser cable should hold. It's always the fun part with the 16 pin or the 12 pin, whichever one you want to call it, in terms of what you have to do to get that cable to work. Yeah. So there we got our three, three there. So let's, before we get too far, I'm gonna grab our little black extension. All right. Stay right there for a second. I'll be right Hi, back. Hi, chat. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm keeping you entertained today. Uh, God. Ask me anything. <laughs> ten, you have 10 seconds. Uh, oh, uh, games. So I started replaying Cyberpunk recently because my friend, I played it like near launch. It was pretty good. My friend was like, you should replay it for the side quests. And I hate to say he's right, but the side quests are pretty fun. Uh, and I've been playing Star Citizen, not, so it's a pretty fun game. It performs like absolute hot garbage, but, it's really beautiful and nothing like it. Um, and I play Minecraft because uh, I play a lot of tech. Favorite Smurf. Um, I'm not caught up on my Smurfs lore, so I'm unfortunately unable to answer that. <laughs> Brainy, I don't know. Minecraft is good. Okay, we're gonna run this. Oh, wow. So this is our, our 16 pin. So we're gonna add this to here. And hopefully this should be the middle. It goes, it has to run to the middle. You like noticeably higher quality cables. Yeah. It would help if I put it the right way. I just pulled a max. <laughs> That's my legacy. <laughs> okay, so I may have to. This should be, we should actually have room still to put this into the back, so we have to see. I'm gonna grab the GPU. Okay. Let's put it in the corner of the frame, menacingly. I think that, because we just need to make sure we have maximum amount of room for the GPU. Put that one over there. Okay, if uh, you want to grab, you want to grab the, not the GPU, you want to grab that riser that's up there. Uh, Where is the, oh, there it is, this. You want to grab that? Uh, where? Right there. Oh, this. Oh. Okay. I assumed it would be flexible. So. It is not. Okay, so we're going to put this. Fancy. 
right here. There we go. Hopefully we'll still have enough room here for the GPU. We'll find out. There you go. Maybe three of them. You should do a build entirely with the, with the Excalibur at some point. <laughs> <laughs> An Excalibur only build? Yeah. Okay, and then we can flip this over and put in our other PSU screw. And that is important. Yeah, might as well. There you go, sir. Uh, right there, no, right there, yep. There we go, one more. And then we get to have fun with the GPU and making this bad boy fit. People are asking about the LTT screwdriver. Do you have any comment? Well, they, they were supposed to give me one <laughs> and then they haven't. So my comment is I don't have one yet. So <laughs> I can't tell you if it's good or bad or not good or not bad because I don't know. All right. That's my comment. I don't, I do not know what, what to, what to say. Okay. There is, here it is. Say, so this is going to go right here. Okay. And that's, that's how much room we'll have to kind of push this in. Amazing. Yeah. We should switch cameras. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you remove those, all eight of these screws. I think actually getting a cable replacement for this case, like a, like a, you know, it's funny. I think I actually have one back of the house, like having, using one of those instead of what the Silverstone, I don't know if they're pinned out the same way. The, they're, um, I think the case will burn. Why do you think the case will burn? That's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of confidence you're putting in our building <laughs> stuff. I think the case will burn. Wow. Okay, and then there are four on the other side is two. Be Coldy, thank you for the sub. Uh, count to it, 178, thank you for the sub. Silver screws. Yeah. Are they different from the black ones? Nope, they just use silver. Uh, we just know they go on the front, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're slightly shorter. Oh, well, there we go. Now we know. I just know they go on the front. This is it. Yeah, I haven't tried the the, but we do. We are a Wow Stick household. We use a lot of Wow Sticks. Okay, so now that just comes off. Okay, and then what we can do is um, let's go ahead and open up that. Literally just opens like this. Oh. <laughs> Pile of bricks. Yeah, there it is. Big GPU. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> okay, so it is three slot, which is good. So if you want to remove all three of those, there we go. Screwdriver is kind of unnecessary for this. Never mind, it's not really. No, it's not. <laughs> it actually holds it pretty tight. There we go. Okay, all three are out. Now we get to see how this is going to work. Oh, look at that, perfect. Not quite going into this pocket. I wonder if it's it's not. Is it something here that's broken? It? No. I feel like I'm giving it pressure. Oh, maybe it's underneath there. Hold on. I think it is. Oh, it's this. Okay. No, don't push too hard on that. Let's not break the. <laughs> Take a look here. Yeah, it's not breaking. <laughs> no, 
Okay, so might, I might have to, oh, I can push this. I can I actually have some room in the front here, so. There we go. So we the life savings of your used car. <laughs> Okay, if you want to put those in, the screws back in. <clears throat> Let's do side view here so you get people to see what we want to do. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's officially in, guys. screw in. Why is this one the difficult one? <laughs> that's, because it's the last one, that's the way it always works. There you go. Okay, let's see what we can do in terms of making this a little bit prettier. Not a whole lot it seems. Not that it's not it's not a big issue for it to be there. It's just like I don't I wish it didn't have to be, but it is what it is. Okay. Do we have enough room for this to reach is the question. Looks like it. Just need to make sure this gets plugged in all the way. Do these drives already have an OS on them? <laughs> no. This one does not. I was, it was something I was wanting to do and then I never got into being able to do it. Okay, that is plugged in all the way. Okay guys, that is the entire build. Actually, the thing is nice about this cable back here is it actually builds stability for the, the, the drive. Okay, let's start putting it back together. In all the way. It's all screwed in all the way. Okay, so you wanna pop that in. Good. Should be under. Okay. All the way down? Yeah. Okay. That's the front. So here's your shorter ones. Need one more silver. There you go. This is gonna be <laughs> neat. Actually, <laughs> believe it or not, this case actually has a ton of airflow. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So let me pop the back in, here you go. Um, you'll see here in a minute. But while we're doing that, before you get here, I'll screw those in, you gotta read a dad joke. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there you go. What do you call security guards working outside of Samsung shops? <laughs> what do you, okay guys, what do you call security guards walking outside of Samsung shops? Working. Working outside of Samsung shops. What? Guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's good. What are you talking about? That's a great dad joke. Yeah, Guardian, okay, <laughs> let's get another one. All right, I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you sound just like, you just, you sound just like uh, Maxwell there with the bruh. 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 <laughs> okay, so there is that. That is now in. Guys, the uh, build is done. There it is right there. The 40, our RTX 4090. I mean, this thing is like, I'm just verifying this plug is in all the way. Cause that's the one thing you gotta do is it's completely seated. There we go, we're all good. There it is right there, All, almost all GPU, I gotta say. But uh, believe it or not, there's a ton of airflow for the GPU. And this case works really well because it's clear on both sides. So you're actually in really, you'll see when we put on the actual case itself, it's actually gonna work really well. Oh, that's a good shot. There we go. 
He took, he took a quality photo while he was at it for the Instagram. Duh. <laughs> Brixellis says, looks like there may not be enough cooling. For what? You think the GPU? The GPU is not going to have any cooling issues whatsoever. Uh, potentially the 5800X3D. We'll see. I believe in Noctua. I believe in Noctua as well. We are testing with the Noctua. Okay, there we go. You want to put the screws in? Uh, are there? Yeah, there is. There's four. There you go. Always is more screws. Oh, yeah. There's four per. I can do the other side. Since we got done as early as we did, we can actually, we, we can try and put an OS on it. Just so people can see yeah. what the temps are like. Speed running the PC. It actually went pretty quick. Okay, if you want to grab the bottom there. Uh, this thing. Yep, that thing right there. The front is here. There we go. Do you want to screw that in? Take two. I'll take two. Now, what we may have an issue with, and we'll have to set in BIOS, is the um, 5800X may need a, uh, there may be, we may need to flash the board for the 5800X 3D, but we will see. Okay, let's throw the, Magnet front on. Here we go. You want to switch views? Or... Oh yeah, you can go to Camlink. There you go. Okay, cool. Oh, let me push this back real quick. There we go. Okay, if you want to put, let's put the screwdriver away. There we go. There is our build ready to test. And then I'll show you guys why I'm not as worried about airflow here. Because I like that every, everybody's voting right now. They're saying it's going to be a hot box, <laughs> but it may not be. So we'll see. I mean, it'll make your room hot, but. Yeah, it'll make, yeah, it'll make <laughs> your room hot. That's for sure. I'm gonna put that away. The, put the little tweezers, yeah, there you go. And if you wanna put the lid on that, there you go. Okay. Boom. Okay, let's pop this in. So this is what I was talking about. Very, very, like solid airflow all the way through. So it's got both sides, right? So there's gonna, the, the, that Noctua fan will be able to pull air directly from the outside. There we go. It kind of does look like an appliance in a way. It does, like yeah. Like the mesh front. Is that? Yeah, that's mesh. Looks like a speaker. Looks Ooh, like a piece that... of Ikea furniture. Yeah. It's got a very Ikea look to it, but it is fractal, which is <laughs> Swedish. So it could be. And then again, the top, which is perfect, right? So you got direct cross airflow for the GPU. And there it is. That is that is a lot of power in a very small, here you go. That's a lot of power in a very small space, I gotta say. But we could have an issue with the riser cable, which if they do, they're gonna be sending new riser cables. So if you were to get this or had this problem, but there it is, all packed up, weighs way more now. But yeah, there there is our build. Yeah, let's- uh, You should get a scale for these. Yeah, we, well, it weighs like, weighs like we do have a scale downstairs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there it is, a console replacement. Now is the time, but before we do that, you wanna do the count, the number of zip ties. I think you never went above what it was. So we'll I do- stopped. Caring, we'll do top down, top head. down. Here we go, top down. He gets to count the zip ties for today. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was even. It was even. I'm sorry, oof way. Oof way. I don't know what, what the, I don't know what, it was even. <laughs> I don't know if people, who, I want to know what the 100,000 person put down. I think. They were uneven. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not drop one. There was not one dropped. There is nothing on there the floor. There is nothing on the floor. Yeah. 
There's this complete zip tie. Yeah, yeah. that's not, this is not, this is not used. <laughs> There's only a complete one. We did not drop one. Recount no <laughs> loose chats. <laughs> okay, so let us get, we're gonna pull all of our stuff and then we'll do, we're, don't worry guys, we have more time. We're not doing this build quickly. So we definitely have more time before we're gonna announce the, do the giveaway and stuff like that. If you wanna grab, there's a power cable, plug that bad boy in. What's this power cable rated for? Five, <laughs> six, just kidding. Okay, let's, I do not know if this is going to post because we may need to update the, uh, we may need to update the BIOS, but that's okay. We'll do that all live here on the stream. Oh, did I turn it on? No. No, I mean, did we turn on the PSU inside of the build? Oh. <laughs> no. Okay, let's try and turn it on just in case. Is it on? Uh, I have to unscrew the panel. I don't think it turned on. Okay, yeah, so we forgot to turn on the PSU. It's over there. How do you? Yeah, we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to... <laughs> we forgot one part, pretty critical. Turn on the PSU inside the build. You wanna hand me the. So yeah, remember when we said we we're gonna boot it up? Well, we lied. Small issue. Small <laughs> issue, but easy to fix. <laughs> I'm too used to having to do it outside. Okay, so we'll have to, t unfortunately we're gonna have to take off this. Okay, you wanna flip it over? Just this side. I'll have to take off this, this side. Flip it over real quick. Oh God. Yeah, it's not light. Okay, one more. Oh shoot, ooh, yeah, lift that up. Okay, yeah, let's not bend that. We'll put it back the other way when we do it. It does look like a little HP PC. Okay, it's on now. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay. You wanna use Excalibur to put that on? By technical difficulties, meaning we forgot a step. I mean, that is a difficulty in the technical department. That is, that is true, that is true. Boom. Oh, wow, that would help. Like here, I'm like, why is this not going on? Well, it's because it's backwards. It goes that way. It goes this way, that's why. Okay, you wanna put your side on? Yes. Okay, that's in. You guys just wanted to see us put the case back together twice. That's all there was to it. Hey, full, it goes from the front. Oh. Starts at the front. It does. Yep. There we go. Here you go, sir. And that one like screws in forever. Okay. Right. Now we can do this again. Be prepared, guys. Magic is about to happen. When is this plugged in? Is the motherboard ever RGB? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, that's it. It's on. Okay. You, sir, may do the honors. Looks like there's a little light on, so that's a good sign. Oh, I see. Hey. Yep, there it goes. GPU's fan spinning. GPU fan spinning, it's on. The little white is all you get. All right. We're waiting to see what we get, if anything. A little orange LED, I think. Or that might just be motherboard black glow. I think I see a blue LED. No, that's that light. I have no idea. Well, we're gonna wait. It can take a while. That is orange. There's a little red LED on the front. Oh, it posted! Holy moly, oh. guys! There it is. It did post. We are officially in. Hey. There it is. New CPU installed. We are actually in and running right now. Oops. So it did post. And there it is, guys. Wow. So we did not, we thought we'd have to update the BIOS, but we did not. So there it is. It is posted. 
Neat. Hacker voice, I'm in. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we're, we're gonna get this build set up now and get it ready for the next part of this, which is... Do you have a Windows USB? Already? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. We got all that stuff. Okay, so throw that in there. We are not, unfortunately we're not getting this. Oh, here, yeah, we're not gonna get the big screen, but what I do wanna do first is I actually wanna update the BIOS, because just to make sure that we have all the lightest. For the 5800X 3D, we are gonna go ahead and update the BIOS and stuff like that. All right. So this is the B550. Uh, Aorus Pro AX. B550i, right? Yes. Okay, guys, we are on to next step. Have I ever used this board before? That'd be funny. Okay, B550i. Whoa, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Okay, what was it? B550i Aorus uh, Elite AX? Uh, Pro AX. Aorus Pro AX. Like that? Uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay. B550i Aorus Pro AX. We're gonna see what temps are like, guys. That's the next part. Support. We want our BIOS. BIOS. Latest one is from the 7th of July of 2022, so that seems good. Copy. Paste. Okay, we're just gonna put our BIOS in here and then flash it real quick. Okay, Ooh. cool. Eject. I'm small now. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Pop that in any one of those. Now we're gonna use the world's smallest. Is this not? N, I believe. Press Y, okay, reset TPM, there we go. Okay. Sometimes it's nice and it shows up on that screen too, but sometimes it doesn't, and it's annoying. It's weird. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm not trying out replacements. You guys trying to get rid of me <laughs> so fast. Streaming every day sounds like hell, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, YouTube Go Reach, guys. There's another $25 gift card unlocked. <laughs> See what we got here. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go grab. There we go. It should just go right in the bias. So when it's uploading, we'll you should be able to, it should still be on the I saw it briefly. It was there. I see no reason why we wouldn't do benchmarks, so. Yeah. Yeah. I see a little flickery boy. Oh yeah, I see it too. Why is it just doing that? That's weird. It's like a terminal input prompt. It's like, it's, it sounds like it's like literally just doing nothing. Great. Hold that down. Uh, they have the Q flash. Yeah, we could do it that way if we needed to. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, there's a BIOS USB slot. Yeah, that's, it, I mean, do I have it in the BIOS USB slot? No, I'm Okay, good, one. I just wanna make sure I don't. It seems like it's, it's. I see it show the eagle. Oh, there it goes, okay, there. what does it say? Operating system's not found, press any key. Well, well, geez, yeah, no kidding. We didn't wanna get there. Go to the BIOS, you piece of garbage <laughs> tech. It says, it says BIOS. Yeah. Oh, it tried to, well, they're gonna do this, sorry. It's trying to load, load an OS. Uh, I'll put so, this in BIOS. Slot. No, 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 because no. then that'll, it'll try and flash. No, not actually, no. No, no, because it's not set up for a BIOS flashback. Uh. Gonna give it a second, guys. This is this is the fun part. 
Yeah, I hope I turn it off. Yeah, it should have turned off fast enough. All right, we just spam Dell when it boots. I'm not even seeing a the computer boots too quickly. Can't see it go. It's a BF2. It's one of the keys. Is it in that terminal boot again? Unclear. I didn't even see the Aorus that time. Yeah, it's stuck in that weird thing again. Always fun. Hold on. We'll get there, guys. Once we get through this, the rest of it's pretty straightforward. We just need to get to the dang BIOS flash. We're going to flash the BIOS. I didn't break it. Max broke it. <laughs> you guys saw it. Okay, there it goes. Made it through the first round. Then it goes a refresh. That's a good question. Does this have diagnostic? It does, but you just can't see them. <laughs> That's so useful. It's doing the same thing it did last time, which it did actually get through. What the? Mired. That's what always happens. I might have to just do the regular. Oh, no, 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 no. There it goes. Come on. It was slow. It was slow last time. It was pretty slow once it did this last time. This is why you want to flash the BIOS, which we could do via the flashback. I just got to read on how to do it. You have to rename it to gigabyte.bin, I think, is all you got to do, and then you push the button. That's not that bad. No. Might be worth doing. Yeah, if this, if this fails again, we're just going to do the... Okay, we're going to just do it the other way. Okay, we're going to do it the other... Oh, gosh darn it. I'm in the BIOS, and I'm holding the button down. Oh, I just shut the power off. I was too impatient. Dang it. Okay, so let's do it this way. If you pop this here, oh, let's do this. Right. I was too impatient, guys. That was my bad. My bad. It was fine, but we'll do it this way. Uh, B550i, copy, put in the main thing. Luckily, they've they've really kind of solved this. I'm glad flashback exists. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this one more time. If not, if we get to the if we if this this should. Okay, put in the BIOS thing, and then hit the flashback button. There it goes, let's leave it alone. Don't hold, let go, there it goes. Okay, now we're waiting. It is doing its thing, it's BIOS flashbacking. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go grab a USB with Windows on it. All right. Well, it's just us again, huh? There's nothing to see here. The light is flashing. It's Yeah, Windows is coming eventually. Next decade. Hi, Swampy. I cannot do a flip. Uh, <laughs> How many PCs have you built? Uh, county rebuilds? Like five or six? I'm not saying. <laughs> I can't kick flip either. I I would fall if I hopped on a skateboard. Uh. <laughs> oh God, these all these requests are terrible. Uh, I do climb. Yeah. Uh, got into it a few months ago. Uh, I didn't watch the World Cup. I know people who watched it, but I didn't really care.
It's not, it's nano leaf. These are like taped to the walls. I do not play Valorant uh, because I don't like the game. Uh, I play Rocket League competitive. Uh, I'm on my school's team. Uh, I've not played Tarkov. I occasionally play Fortnite. Just ask me anything, it's going great. <laughs> yeah, they'll, ask, they'll ask you anything. Controller. Controller for Rocket League. Keyboard and mouse for everything else. AMD. Uh, favorite horror game? Most things. Favorite horror game? I don't know. Uh, I guess Phasmophobia. I don't really like horror games, honestly. Still flashing? Yep, still flashing. Guys, it's flashing. Rated R up in his, oh wait, no. That's League right. never played League. I want to stay away as far as I possibly can from that. <laughs> <laughs> He's afraid of League. Dude, it's a, it, it's a game that like will absorb you. Definitely feel the heat coming off of that. <laughs> Favorite uncle. <laughs> Guys, you, if you gotta do dad jokes, you gotta use those hard earned channel points. Hmm. My other uncle. <laughs> this is officially no longer Roby's stream. That would be my uncle John. Then no, yeah. no, yeah. But you have uncles on your on your dad's side, right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess they're, yeah. they're old. <laughs> He's they're like, yeah. Cool. He's like, yeah. Oh, somebody threw a dad joke in there. Okay, hit the dad joke button. Oh god. <laughs> now another Roby tech. He's like, oh gosh. He knows what this means. He's reading a dad joke. Uh, I like the Razor Viper a lot as a mouse. Uh, I have my own, I don't remember exactly what the specs, but I built my own keyboard. And I like Xbox controllers. Here we go. All right. Why do cows have ho hooves instead of feet? Why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Why, Max? Because they lack toes. <laughs> <laughs> lack toes. Hydrate, I just did. I did a hydrate earlier. This is ridiculous. We're 364 days away from Christmas and people already have their lights up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Okay, still flashing, guys. Still flashing. It's still doing the flash. Played Rust? No. It's like quite the flash. No need to waste. Take him down. Yeah, flash, but not flash. Yes, that's very true. Now, the one thing we don't know, guys, is that if we're, like, once we get into Windows and stuff like that, if this riser is going to cause issues. Um, so we will find that out here briefly. Oh, yeah, Hopefully I, it's fine. I do play Apex. Not a ton and not really competitively, but I'll play with my friends sometimes. Not competitively? No. Nah. If you, okay, so here's here's a question for you. If you were gonna go into a competitive game, what competitive game would you go into? Like if you were gonna go like, I'm going competitive, this is max, max, <laughs> max a billion. Uh, pro I'd probably be Rocket League. Rocket it, League? Cause it's the one I'm the most good at. Okay. So like, that's like the one, if like somebody put a gun to your head and was like, you need to go pro. You're like, okay, well, I guess it's Rocket League. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, but I'm like, mm, pretty mid at it still. Okay. What is like, what if you, if you could choose a game though, like not just oh. because you're good at it, like just because like, you're like, oh, I'd love to be pro in what, what would it be? Hmm. There's technical Minecraft competitions sometimes. Oh, snap. That like, actually useful skills, computer engineering stuff. I like how he's like, <laughs> I like how he's like, it's useful. That's why I want to do it. it. Has nothing to do with the fact that like it's I mean, entertaining. It's, it's better than like being good at rotating in Valorant or something. Right. Wow, Eternal Rage subscribing at tier one on a 31 month streak. That's hey. almost older than you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, no. With that's... a little division. Yeah, with a little division. Yeah. I think it's done. It, it not doing the bloopy. Okay, so it should be rebooting now. Well, it will know because it'll pop up and we'll know that we're in. Uh, have... Oh my gosh, we're not answering that question. <laughs> uh, I've <I'm> not. <laughs> <laughs> he answers it anyway. Uh, I'd cheap out on the motherboard because you can still get a decent motherboard. You just wouldn't have as many features. Oh, okay. Okay, I did see it post, so it is officially, I saw the, uh, I saw the post screen. We just gotta wait. We gotta be patient, Max. You were so impatient last time. <laughs> It was your fault. Yeah, I'm the impatient one. Uh, I'm plat three-ish, so not that amazing, but decent. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, this thing is doing a really good job of not letting us get into the BIOS. It's like it really doesn't want us in the BIOS. It does not. It did, it did boot all the way to wait, you know, like we had to wait till the, I think it's pretty much tried to read the, uh, the window, the um, BIOS drive, so. And that's like why it was doing that versus like what we were doing before. Ooh, we got to that, that popped up quick. Oh, hey, 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 hey. you wanna go to, go to game capture? PC capture? BIOS setup has been reset, okay. Yeah, PC capture. Amazing. Okay, we're in the BIOS. Hey. Everything looks good. It's sitting at 42 right now, which is pretty warm for an idle temp, but that's, you know, again, we have one fan. <laughs> it's a CPU fan. So we'll see how this does afterwards. XMP is disabled. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here it looks okay. Okay, so we're not gonna enable XMP for OS stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave everything fine. We'll take care of that later. Let's, oh, we don't have, oh, we do have USB-C, okay, here we go. Okay, so let's hit F10. Yes, okay, there we go. And now we should be able to get into the OS. I am, just for the sake of being, because I want to be able to see. It's a good idea. <clears throat> six dag leg, oh, six dag dag nine. Six dag dag nine, thank you very much for the, uh, Appreciate you. Thank you for the uh, the subscription. Pokey Alien, I think, right? Pokey Alien. Uh, also, thank you for the sub. Okay, here he goes. We are booted into the OS next. Okay, so let me. Okay, let me let me do this real quick. Okay. Since you, since you don't like this this fine language, install <laughs> now. Okay, so we're installing Windows. I unfortunately it's not coming through to the other screen. I don't have a product key. Why is that? Because it just, it just, you have to mirror it, but I, like you can't, like I uh, want to be able to see. I accept, next. Obviously. Custom, sure. Okay, Windows is installing now, guys. So while we wait for Windows install, real quick, why don't we go ahead and do our sponsor, since, since this is like, it's gonna take time for this to basically do its thing anyway, so we'll do our quick sponsor bit. And then from there, We'll, uh, we'll move on to the other parts. You wanna hand me, oh, no, let's just connect this for now. There we go, run that through and around. Right. Oh no, yeah, but you gotta twist. Here, I'll come around the other side. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Do our sponsor real quick, and then from there, we'll have that and our deals done while we wait for the OS to finish its thing. We'll take little pauses. While it, while it installs. Luckily, the install is really fast. It's a, I think I'm gonna dedicate a whole four terabytes just to Windows. Yeah. Feels like that's a good, you guys, if you agree with that, please let me know if you think I should just do, dedicate a whole uh, Windows, uh, a whole uh, four terabyte NVMe storage place just for Windows. I feel like that's a solid use of four terabytes. One terabyte for Chrome. Oh, so I should probably just have a Chrome drive as well. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. I feel like you guys are wise in the ways of the world. Windows and Call of Duty. Yeah, Windows. <laughs> Do we really need COD? Like, is that is that like a thing? Do we need COD? 
Okay, so let's go to... How about Windows and Windows 2? Yeah, Windows 2. <laughs> and the disk is full. Nobody needs COD, but everybody wants COD. I don't know. Okay, go ahead and go to uh, go ahead and go to uh, PC Game Capture. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Okay, so uh, you get finished installing this very inexpensive, this beautiful budget build, like lowest cost build ever. You get finished installing, it and you're like, hey, unlike Maxwell, you want to pay for an OS, and you're like, <laughs> oh, so I want to pick, I want to pick up a copy of Windows 11 or Windows 10. So let's see, do a search here. Let's see how much is a copy of Windows 11. So Windows 11 right here is, sorry, no results. Wow, that's weird. Oh, because I spelled it wrong. Windows 11. Okay, so here's Windows 11. Regularly $209.67, but you can get it here at vip.cdkdeals.com for $31.60. So you can go in this, and then you can hit buy now. Uh, oh, hold on. Can you hit uh, game capture? Uh, sorry, uh, cam link. Cam link. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We got to log in. Yeah. Okay, now you can go back. So now I hit buy now. And then you just wait, because you've already logged in. And if you use code RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $31.60 is now only come $22.12. Okay, let me run through this real quick. I mean, I can do this if you want to keep going. Oh, no, here's what you do. Skip. Okay, so there you go. There's Windows, $22.12. We'll see if there's an update. Okay, but what about Office, or what is it called? Microsoft 365 now? I want to pick up Office. It's a good time. Uh, we have uh, people are getting ready to go back to school. So here, regularly $198.84. You can pick it up here for $76.42. But again, same thing. Use the same uh, same code RBCK at checkout. So what was seventy six dollars and forty two cents ends up only being hitting apply, and you can get it for uh, thirty uh, fifty three dollars and forty nine cents, which is saving you twenty two dollars and ninety three cents. So if you again, we have literally thousands and thousands and thousands of people who've used this. Uh, if you, you know, again, we verified that these are legit codes, great way to get windows. They also sell like keyboards and some other things as well, but a great place to go and get, uh, discount codes and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go, so we can, we can get done with that. So there, so that is our sponsor. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring. The other thing I want to tell you about though, is also robytech.com and, uh, also Roby Tech deal. So if you head over to Twitter, Especially as we're getting into the new holiday season or if you're ever looking for uh, basically purchasing hardware or anything like that, great place to go and follow along is uh, Roby Tech. Hold on, let me skip this. I'll show you a nice little trick. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Uh, set up for personal use next. No at, oops. No at thank you dot com. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sign in. Oh, something's wrong. Let's go to an offline. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm a great. Okay, there we go. So they just made it even more annoying to do the offline setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Except. No data for you, Windows. Yeah, you don't get nothing. You don't get any of my stuff. Even though I used to work with you for 20 years, it's like <laughs> negative. Now that I don't work there, you can't have my data anymore. Okay, so if you're looking for PC hardware, especially if you go into the new season or uh, especially if you go into shopping, at Robitech Deals on Twitter, great place to find things like GPU availability, like if you want to know when a 7900 XTX is in, available or the RTX 4090. Uh, Tom spends a ton of time just updating this all the time. So great place to find that stuff. Uh, and go from there. So uh, also, uh, another, on top of that, you can also check out robytech.com. So here's robytech.com where we, like if you found a build, like you were like, oh, I really want to build this PC that we have here. If you go to robytech.com slash builds. Again, all of our stuff is here. Here's every part that we did plus the components. So if you find something that you like, whether you want to do that cooler or whatever it was, it's all saved for you and stored for you right there. But let's see what deals our man, Tom, has found for us today. 
And why don't you run through the deal? So let's start here. Okay, what do we got first? Uh, got a WD Black NVMe 2 terabyte uh, PCIe Express Gen 4x4 for 170. Yeah, so that's an eight. That's an SN850X, which is their highest in performing uh, WD Black thing from there. Now with more gusto, what's next? Logitech G Cloud Gaming yeah! handheld console in white is only 300 at Best Buy or Amazon. For $299.99, we, I got one of these for Christmas. Uh, so it was one of the things I asked for for Christmas. Uh, you guys can't think of this as like a Steam Deck. It's a, it's a cloud, portable cloud device, um, but very small, really large battery life, great screen, uh, intuitive controls, etc. So I really, really like this. It's, it's uh, pretty dang awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, run this. Let's do the system updates for now and then all that sort of stuff. This is a gigabyte system, so we don't have any of the, uh, let's run this. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, what's next? Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3, 15.6 inch gaming laptop with a 5600H, eight gigs of RAM and a 3050 Ti. So with the 256 gig, now we did verify you can actually update the RAM so just wait for all those. We, you can update the RAM. Uh, it is does has a SSD, so it's a regular three and a half inch SSD, but updating the RAM on the 3050 Ti, we saw double, uh, overall doubling the performance there. So 3050, great, like for, this is a great entry level uh, gaming laptop. If you're looking for, you know, one for like my man Max here. No, that's <laughs> not true. Max is, yours has a 3080 in it, right? Yeah, 3070 Ti. 3070 Ti in his. So he's like, this isn't good enough for me. <laughs> um, okay, next on the list. Uh, Zephyrus 14 inch W WQXGA. Yep. Great naming. 120 100, hertz. 120 hertz, Ryzen 9, 16 gigs of DDR5, uh, RX 6700 S, one terabyte of PCIe for only $1,100. So a th no, yeah, a thousand bucks, 550 bucks, five, $550 off. That's a pretty, that's a pretty fly laptop actually yeah. with a 6700 S. So uh, that's an it's that is an AMD Advantage laptop having Ryzen 9 and a 6700S. So that means that you will get all the AMD Advantage stuff that basically comes with that. Uh, what's what's next on our what's next on our list right now, sir? LG Ultra Gear 24-inch Full HD gaming display with FreeSync Premium, 144 hertz and one millisecond IPS. So one millisecond response time, seventy dollars, one seventy nine ninety nine. For a 24-inch monitor, that's pretty good for a 1080p to 40, uh, monitor. And then lastly, the Corsair CW. Uh, this is their, uh, their new one, their H150i. Uh, we've used this in the Corsair build that now has like, what, 27,000 views on, uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, 134.99. This this actually is a very impressive AIO. Uh, I really like the uh, the RGB on it. And the other thing too is it doesn't have a lot of the extra connections for it, so it's very very straightforward to basically uh, get set up and installed and stuff like that. So very very cool uh, deals. Good job, Tom. Uh, again, I would say if you're into this or you were looking for a portable Xbox system and you're on good Wi-Fi, uh, the G Cloud's a good deal. Uh, SN850 Act, which is again their highest end Gen 4 NVMe SSD for 169 for a two terabyte, is also a very screaming good deal. Uh, and then the Zephyrus and this AIO uh, also good deal. So good job, Tom. Everybody say good job, Tom. Good job, Tom. You want to go ahead and get, go back to Cam Link? Okay, guys, we are currently waiting for Windows to do its thing. Yeah. So Windows is updating itself because we want to make sure we're going from there. So while we're doing that, I'm going to download a couple things and get that ready. Start without your data. Yeah, yeah, what the, continue without this data. Confirm and start browsing, Ooh, there you go. And then skip and black. All right, so let's go, let's go grab NVIDIA drivers. Okay, official NVIDIA drivers. We want the 40 series, 40, 90s. By the way, this seems to be looking uh, we're working. on Windows 11, right? Oh, we're, but this seems to be working really well for um, the, we don't seem to have any issues with the um, the riser cable. Yeah. It seems to be running just fine. So we are, we are we, it does seem to be going well. Except display resolution. Well, that's because I haven't, I haven't updated it yet. Oh, okay. Let's do, oh, uh, let's grab this and have you replug that in and then we'll mirror it so people can see what the heck we're doing right now. Thank you very much to our sponsors and, oh, hold on, hold on. Ugh. 
I'm just gonna see you reach. Thank you to our sponsors and everybody else for going in there. Guys, what do you guys think of Max? You guys enjoying having Max on the show? Should we have Max back? Tom doesn't lack toes. Tom loves toes. You could say he's lack, yeah, he loves toes. He's like, please don't bring that up again. He was hoping it was dead. Windows isn't activated, that's fine. <laughs> All right, I'll come back. Everybody says, Max <laughs> is invited to more streams. Officially, you have been christened as invited to more streams. So good job, Max. Uh, right. Not everybody, not everybody has been invited <laughs> to more screens. Who got kicked out? <laughs> Nobody. But uh, I like I like to make it seem I like to make it seem like uh, like craziness has happened. Okay, so we're good there. Chat's too friendly. Chat, 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 chat's very nice. They're like, we'll let anybody come back. Just the only person who's been uninvited is me. They're like, can you not be on the stream anymore? Do we want him back? Yeah. My, Max, I said, well, I'm pretty sure Max would like to, Max would like to take any time to build a PC. To be honest, he didn't get the best PC building experience because like all the cables were too small, but you did get in the CPU cable. Yeah. yeah that was like a big one for him. Okay, so we, did, we, did we actually download? Did I actually get download? Done. Okay, so we got that. Um, we need the gigabyte. Whoa, man, it's the B Aorus B550. Not that one. Okay, so we want the Aorus B550i Pro. I Pro AX. Yeah. And we need to get the uh, we need to get the gigabyte center thing so it can download all its stuff. Support. Um, utility. App Center, that's what you want right there. Linux has all your drivers built in, so you don't have to go to the internet and search for 50 different drivers. Yeah, but you do have to you do have to install different versions of Proton to get different, yeah. <laughs> different games to run. And it's also not near as user-friendly <laughs> for most individuals, but I mean, like, when do, their, their Linux is getting a lot better for running, even being user-friendly, which is pretty cool. It depends on your application, but it, yeah, at times it's not great. But sometimes it makes much more sense than Windows is. Well, I think it like, I, I'm curious, like as people use it more, if that's, if it gets a lot easier. Okay, it's installing the, it's installing 22H2 right now, guys. That's what we're waiting for. And then we're gonna start, we'll uh, get a, I like how Philinux, I think he uses <laughs> Linux. <laughs> mm, maybe. Max needs to build, Max needs to build this system, they're saying. Mm, okay. Yeah, he wants to, you actually want to do a hard tubed water cooled system, right? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, yeah. So he wants to do one. So Yeah, we're benching the rig. Right now it's installing the OS and then we'll bench it. Why aren't we doing the installs parallel with Windows? I'm not doing anything right now. Oh, because the Windows sometimes step this this install is just one you don't play with. Okay. Yeah, I've just learned that certain things like after setting up literally hundreds of these, like after a while you're just like, okay, these are the ones that don't do well and the ones that do do well. Oh, I said do do. Uh, what I can put in there though is this right now. This one's fine, but the the driver, the graphics driver one. I'm actually a little nervous that Windows didn't auto detect it, so I'm curious if that riser is going to actually have issues. So I'm kind of waiting. <laughs> Which we know how to fix. We just set the riser to three uh, to V3 uh, to PCI three, but it will uh, it will uh, affect our overall. Um, can I switch it to games so they can actually see? They won't be able to. Oh, okay. Because you would know because it would show up there. Uh, yeah, that is still stuck. Yep, yeah, we're getting there, guys. I pressed the wrong button. That's gonna go weird. We're getting there. There you go. Up center. There we go. Okay, so now let's that get is rid of all this. Stuff. A beautiful UI. Oh yeah, the new one's better. <laughs> And not, please don't put Norton on there. And then we'll put in our chipset driver, our Realtek, Wi-Fi, done and done. Okay. Can you unplug the gigabit? Yeah, I don't want anything else. Oh, yeah. I, I'm making sure there's nothing else because <laughs> that's, that's when it gets bad. <clears throat> the one thing I will say is Gigabyte's gotten better, but the one thing, uh, they're, they're, they're graphically, they're not as good as Vision Center which is the one from Asus, but man, their CDN, which is the stuff that distributes their hardware, their, their drivers, way faster. 
I wish that Asus would get on a faster CDN because it's like brutal waiting for that to get going there. I'm too broke to start a tech channel. <laughs> so is the actual physical separation between the GPU area and the MOBO and CPU area, there actually is a wall here uh, between the uh, between the GPU area and the CPU er and the MOBO area, yes. And then there is the, the PSU creates a secondary barrier. So there's not a lot of air moving between this and be honest, for the uh, for the for the Founders Edition, you literally can flow air directly through. So the Founders Edition gets lots of air. The question is, how well is this going to cool our 5800X 3D? That I don't know. So because again, we only have that one cooler. But for the GPU, I doubt the GPU is actually going to be all that warm. Don't put that away because we don't need it anymore. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a blower. It's a blower style cooler, just blowing air off of the uh, uh, off of the uh, um, the CPU. Okay, so we've got we're on the chipset driver right now, which is installing. Windows Update is installing. I'm gonna run these two for no other reason than something because we need to have Cinebench. So, oh, yeah, Cinebench. So I'm gonna run all these. These do actually go really fast. <clears throat> Xbox Identity Provider. Yeah, it needs to know who you are. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what that does. It's, what does it say? Xbox steal your steal your credential provider. Mm -hmm. Windows take all my data provider. <laughs> okay, Realtek uh, Realtek Audio is now installing, guys. Keep a you guys have a lot of faith in this thing. <laughs> Do you know how when so we are well, they're supposed to be the the timeline on them got pushed back a little bit. We're, they, we were hoping to do them in December, but it's going to be post all of the shoots in January. Okay, so Realtek's installing right now. Windows is doing its stuff. It's at 40. Stuff. Doing its stuff. <laughs> it's doing its stuff. I was gonna say shenanigans. If you guys wanna do a poll for PC temps, that's fine. Inf I will tell you, I care, I, I care a lot less about Cinebench temps and a lot more about gaming temps. So gaming temps are gonna are obviously what I care about the most, given that this is mostly for gaming. Um, but we will at least get an idea of what this is capable of doing with a um, with this cooler. How fast is this Ethernet cable? Uh, it's pretty fast. We got gig. Okay. It's just it, honestly the problem is installing, and the other two is the CDNs. Uh, I don't know why that didn't work, but it's okay. So that's oh there you go. See now they just showed up there. Do we want to get Steam downloading too? Let's see if we oh this is all done. Finish. We could, yeah, we could download a game and see what the temps are. I'll install MSI Afterburner and some other things too. Okay, you guys are getting the full meal deal today. Okay, so let's, let's install MSI Afterburner. Too good at building PCs. <laughs> Except, so we can show temps when we're going. We're getting there guys. It's actually going pretty quick. Can we get fries with, oh, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> uh, extract all, right here, thank you. 73C, all right, that's production. <clears throat> uh, actually, 73C would be fine. Okay, we're installing MSI Afterburner. We're also gonna install hardware, uh, uh, CPU ID hardware info. I believe in the GPU's ability to flow air. I'm not worried about the GPU. CPU. Well, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, CPU is going to be the interesting one. That's that could be the potential. What is our PSU fan set up as? Uh, it's right here. Is it an intake or? No, it's it's exhaust. Okay. Leave it to yeah, this is so for, this is for, um, we're just getting all the OS stuff done. I'm a little, like I said, I'm still a little nervous because it hasn't updated the driver for the graphics on its own. So hopefully this is not the, the, um, hopefully we are not going to have problems with the, uh, riser. You have some beautiful websites. <laughs> yeah. This is why ad block is invented. 
They're important though. Let that finish. I think this is good. Okay, so that's all updated. We're at the very end, guys. Waiting for DirectX to finish. I expect the hotspot on the CPU to be under 90 degrees if the mount is decent. Uh, CPU while gaming, really? 3990 says 86 while gaming. I am guessing in the 70s. I'm guessing it won't be anywhere near that hot. You remember, understand, CPUs don't use a lot, like CPUs don't get used a lot in gaming. Okay, there we go. So that hardware info monitor is installed. We're just, this is done. This is done. Okay, and then we're at 64% here. Okay, so we the only thing we don't have right now is we don't have Steam, which games download pretty quick. Welcome to Steam. Welcome to Steam. Install Steam. Install the greatness. We should do Portal 2 RTX. Oh yeah, just this, I don't know. I don't. I don't even have that yet. I thought the RTX was free. It probably is. I just don't have it yet. I haven't downloaded it or installed the thing yet. Then let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I haven't played it either. <clears throat> Windows is still updating. Yep. It's estimating that it'll take four minutes once it restarts. The building part's already done. Yeah, Wabi, sorry, unfortunately. Does this Windows USB still in the end? Nope, nope, we can take that out. Ooh, it's warm. Yeah, that's all set up. Yeah, it's, it's because that was my cooling capacity right <laughs> there. There's nothing interesting going on right now. It's just installing. And then we'll install some other things. And then we'll install those things. And then uh, we're fine, eventually. 73%. This is definitely the long pole right here. It's just the 22H2 install. Isn't H2 the one with like the tab file management? I have no idea. I actually haven't paid that much attention. 74% guys. I know it's on my laptop and I was like, that took them long enough. Oh shoot. Make sure, okay, there we go. Don't want your Steam password stolen. Yeah. Okay, cool. You have the verification code too? Yeah, he's gonna fix it to me. Nice. I don't do much like file management on my laptop, unsurprisingly. But tab file managers is nice. Mostly if you're doing like anything that requires moving files, obviously. Okay, we're still waiting for Windows and we're gonna install Steam here in a minute. It's at 80% on Windows. Yeah, but there's nothing going wrong. There's nothing going, it's just doing its thing. It's like, it's not wrong right now. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's fine. We'll, we'll find out here pretty quick. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and let's do our giveaway for our two new egg gift cards right now. Let us. Let's do that. Let's keep you guys entertained. You guys have been uh, patient. Whoops, that's not right. Let me hit the right one here because I've been waiting. Okay, so we're gonna go to login. Just organizing the windows. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds good. That's a good thing. Oh. There we go. There you go. 
Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Hold on one sec. So two. You don't own Portal 2. It's, that's what I said, I don't own it. Can I buy it? Uh, I don't know. It's a dollar. <laughs> what? That's so expensive. That. Yeah, that's fine. All right, add cart, boom. Purchase for myself. Uh, I don't know, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know the number for this. I don't have it on me. Yeah. Okay, let's do, oh, yeah, sorry, no, just because I don't know the number. Uh, we'll <laughs> install. We just signed into my account. I have it. Or... Oh, okay. Now let's put this down and then we'll put that down too. So this, this won't take that long. You'll see. We'll let this go while it's finishing that. And then, because yeah, this is a good one to test temps. Is it, uh, is it graphically, is the other one graphically that crazy? 82%. I have no idea how intensive Portal 2 RTX yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna install Cyberpunk real quick, just for that. I'm gonna install, while I'm at it, let's install uh, Cinebench. We're almost there, guys. You're watching us prepare live for all of the testing. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's start the giveaway, though. Exclamation point. Uh, the entry for this will be exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now. Uh, two $25 gift cards up for grabs. Starting that giveaway right now. Two $25 new egg gift cards up for grabs. There you go. Okay, so apparently Portal 2 RTX is power hungry. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, well we can let that go and then we can grab it too. What's not power hungry is this freaking Windows install, jeez. It probably is power hungry, it just doesn't know how to use it well. 83%. Like jumps, this is like, it's so brutal how, this is like the slowest part of any time we, put, we finish a system. Exclamation point new egg now guys. Uh, one minute, oh yeah, we got uh, one minute left. It'd be kind of fun to put a power monitor somewhere on your on this cable. We actually have one. Oh. But it's it's not for the mod, but you can put it in between the GPU and watch exactly how much power the GPU draws, which is actually pretty cool. That's neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a nifty neato tool. Steamworks common redistributes. Redistributes? Redistributes. 85% guys. Where does the emphasis go? Does it say Santa Claus? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. Cancel, sorry. Hold on, I think it's not, it's set, it's wrong. Sorry guys, <laughs> exclamation point new egg now, my bad. That would have been unfortunate. That would have been unfortunate, my bad. Okay, exclamation point new egg now, starting the giveaway right now, two minutes. There you go. It's not Santa Claus, guys. It's New Egg now. It's not anymore. Not Santa Claus anymore. I want Santa love. That's that's over. And I guess we're drawing three, Blondie. Three? Okay, yeah, we're drawing three. Okay, Rural Octopus. Thank you for the sub. Eighty-eight percent, guys. People are hungry for gift cards. They are. They always are. I'm gonna grab a glass of water. Okay. Or actually, I'm just gonna steal your water. There's none in there. Damn. Let's go down there. Let's go. We'll be right back, guys. We're gonna take a quick second we'll for right for back. getting some drinks. We
There it yeah, is. Yeah, I think so. Are we back? You guys hear it? Okay. Let's take a look. Testing, testing. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're good. Cool. Okay, congratulations to Michael Dog 519, Tartar Sauce 87, and Yaku Gaming PR. You guys are the winners of those new A gift cards. We're at 94% now, which is good. And we're halfway through the download of Cyberpunk. Windows is slow download. Yeah, this well, this this is like essentially like a full version upgrade. <laughs> it's it's not downloaded. It's it's installing. Huh. So yeah, it just takes a long time. Congratulations, you guys. Now we still have. Uh, we still have two build mats. Uh, Blondie, do you, don't you usually draw the winners for those? Because they're from the people who donated, yeah? Or do we give them away normally? I'll let Blondie tell me how the, that works. The What's in the water bottle? Water. Hard vodka. <laughs> Hard vodka. I'm waiting for Blondie to get back to me. Doesn't have to drive anywhere after this. Yeah, so. I'm just, yeah, I like, I just need to, I need to just be drunk. <laughs> just kidding, no, that's not true. You guys know that I'm not, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, pretty family friendly in that regard. Moonshine. <laughs> Najia just tagged me in something on Instagram. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, just do, okay. So she says to just do it in Streamlabs. I'm gonna check to see, I just got tagged in something. <laughs> I didn't, uh... I actually don't see it. Can you put it in? Yeah, I don't see anything. Apple cider ice is pretty good. Okay, 2%, guys. There was a P, yeah, there's a PC at the end of the stream. What was it, Gia? Yeah, he's, I think he's trying to get his sponsors. <laughs> More money. Ninety-seven percent. Ninety-seven percent, guys. I, I already. Mind. We already finished the PC. The PC's right there. It's a 40, 90, 5800 XP. Yeah, we're done. We're getting ready to bench it. So that's what we're waiting for. We're just waiting for the last. It's the last three percent on Windows, and the last. It's actually only uh, like two minutes left on the download. This bad boy can fit so much thermal throttling. <laughs> yeah. We. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's all right there. It's ready to go. Oh, okay, it says installing is 100% now. So now we're just waiting for two minutes and 47 seconds for the download oh, to finish. that's what? not good. What? Oh. Oh, that's because, that's because we're literally yanking. Like, Steam doesn't do quas. Steam just takes all your bandwidth. So <laughs> it's like, I will have it all. All of it. Yeah, it's going to glitch the screen for like two minutes, two minutes more. We gave it... it we don't have, qua like, it's funny. We need to get Qua set up here in the studio. Um, but yeah. I'd hope it could run Cyberpunk with RTX. It's a 49. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the PC that's going out tonight is a 3070 with a 12700K. Portal RT, is it really that bad? Portal RTX requires that much. Can you let me with? Well, let's not do it now. It's only got a minute left, then it'll be done. I mean, we still have to download it. So in this amount of time, we downloaded a 67 gig game. 
That's actually pretty good. That is pretty impressive. What's up, nerdy gamer? I can run Portal RTX on a 3060i at 2K. Okay, so that doesn't sound like it's too demanding. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Worth it to check out. Portal isn't a big game either. It's like 5, 10 gigs. <clears throat> uh, my, I don't know about Minesweeper. I don't think there's any build that's prepared for Minesweeper at that, at that level. Guys, we still have some concerns though because we don't know. I don't even have Minesweeper on here. I don't okay, think so that's it's fine. By okay, so anymore. finally, Windows is done with its part, just in time for the last part of this. Okay, so now what I can do is, well, I'm afraid to do it. Uh, well, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna wait. I, I don't care about this. What I care about is if I install the the Nvidia driver and it goes no. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, we're at 62 gigs. We only got five gigs left to download. Minesweeper, yeah, it's gonna download Minesweeper. Okay, Najia gave it to me there. Let me see what he said. Let me, Najia gave me a, sent me a DM. Tagged on the gram. Oh yeah, mod. That looks sick. Yeah, that's, that's Ben's build. Why did you tag me on it? Just out of curiosity. Oh. Oh, in Discord. Okay, cool. Check it here in a minute. Check Discord. Oh, dang, Discord's on here. Okay, let me bring Discord on here. Because <laughs> the other one's logged into a different Discord. Uh, last, okay, there you go. Verifying, and then we can restart and finish this all out. Verifying. Oh, it's cool. Thanks, Najia. Yeah, yeah, no, mod, uh, Ben does good work. Ben does really good work. Riken, thank you for the Prime sub. Okay, it's just up verifying, and then we'll be done. It's two minutes left on just the verifying. It's done downloading now, and now you can see that our, look, our, we look so clear now. Wow, amazing. Until the Steamworks redistributes to start downloading. <clears throat> but those are like tiny, right? Oh yeah, they're small. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. That's like run times and stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, it is, but it's okay. I mean, like well, now, I mean, the the, the the bandwidth stuff is done. Now we're just waiting for the game to finish. It'll be a good way to test what the temps are gonna be like. So we'll test it at 1440p, which will be fine. I'm not gonna download a bunch of games because the other thing too is I know we don't wanna wait for like, yeah. Okay, let's do our two build mat giveaways, guys. Hey, somebody, thank you very much, uh, Logics for the uh, for the donation. That's huge. Oops. Okay, so let me look here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is PC build mats. PC build mat giveaway. Okay, so we got two of these. We're gonna run them for two minutes. Uh, subs, you get extra entries. Okay, uh, and then the int ex exclamation point community is gonna be it. I actually really like my build mat. I've like dropped solder on it, like Community. Okay, molten there we go. solder, and it was totally fine, which is pretty cool. Um, I pretty much used it for everything except building PCs. Uh, Where is? It's done the job well. Oh, PC build mats. Okay, start that. Two PC build mats. Two minutes, guys. Exclamation point community. Okay, Cyberpunk is done. And now we can restart this, and that's done too. Okay, so good, there we go. Okay, here we go, we're gonna restart now, and while you guys are doing the giveaway. Hopefully the frame rate improves. Yeah. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have that right now. It doesn't have the oh, it doesn't have the right. Uh, Hey, Jacob Smile, thank you for the sub. Deadly707, thank you for the sub. Updates are underway, guys. Why does the iPad keep randomly turning on? Uh, because we're getting text messages. Uh, okay. And it's attached to my phone. Okay, updates are going. That might have been a mistake. Oh no. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. Oh. Still updating, but it is updating in the right direction. Then we install, all we gotta install is install the GPU, and then we should be good. But that could be the thing that throws this whole thing Makes it go south because then we have to go into the uh, into the BIOS, change it to Gen three, and then we won't be getting the best performance. I don't have the winner for that on me, Blondie. Seventeen seconds. That's just with the with the with I just plain forgot, and we have the this PC giveaway was the priority. Oh, I, I meant, I meant the, uh, I meant the, uh, the GPU drivers. Okay, updates are finishing. Jesse Array, okay, Jesse Array, 1968, you win a build mat. And Northern Tide, you win a build mat. Congratulations, you guys. You guys are the winners of the build mats. We are now just waiting for the final restart. This is, I will say one thing is I'm probably really like honing into you right now is how much you want to go back to Windows. <laughs> <laughs> I have Windows 11 on my laptop and it's... Enough? Yeah. It's, it's, it's an OS. Now, I don't know about the final restart. It's good. I'm just saying it's the, I think more than likely, it's the final countdown. Uh, the winners were, I, I announced them. The winners were, guys, we, listen. I said who the winners were. I'm bringing it up again. It's rebooting. That was kind of fun. It's, now it's on its not, second part of that Windows update stuff. The OS is at Windows 11. Okay, winners were Jesseray 1968 and Northern Tide. Those were the two winners. Now we haven't announced that we yet. We have one more giveaway tonight, and that's the PC giveaway. Remember, subscribers, you get one, you get extra entries towards a PC giveaway. We're gonna be giving away this, the the uh, the. Uh, Gigabyte stealth build that we did a while back. Uh, if we can get a link to the stream on that, that would be actually pretty awesome, Blondie. So if you guys want to go check out what that build looks like, it's actually already packed up. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Serial question, is Windows 11 better than Windows 10? Uh, it depends on the, oh, oh, like for Windows, for, um, it's better now. 22H2 has made some pretty vast improvements uh, for Win for Intel for sure because it has a bunch of tech that go there's a bunch of software that goes in uh, in cahoots with the tech. I'd say for 5800X or older, like even AMD in a lot of guards, the question is kind of iffy. Um, it just goes into personal choice. It is it, 22H2 made some big improvements, so it's finally getting way way better. An anti-stealth build. You you basically just want to build that like says I'm here. Like you turn it on, it goes wah. That's big. It's like the anti-stealth build. That's kind of what I have right now. It's a lot of RGB. Yeah, a lot of RGB. <laughs> yeah. I want what like what case is your building? Uh, it's some older Cooler Master. Okay. Yeah. That's like a plastic. This one's pretty stealth. Yeah. It's got a little bit of RGB from the GPU. 
It's like this little V light, but yeah, for the most part, pretty, pretty, pretty unassuming. Alexander Meta goes, say, say meow. Meow. Oh, do you want me to say please or meow please? Or meow meow? Do you remember that from like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I, I actually like, all my systems are now on Windows 11. Except for this one. This one, it doesn't have a TPM chip, which is funny because like I was, so for those folks who don't know, like we, we had an issue with the streaming PC. It was running at point, point, 0.57 gigahertz, not five gigahertz, 0.57 gigahertz, which was making it run terribly. Um, so I found out that this is actually an X570 Crosshair Hero 8 motherboard. So it's like, I was like, oh man, I should really put like a 5950X in this thing. It's got a 3950 in it right now and a 2080. I mean, it was a high-end build at the time, but like now I'm like, oh, I should have put in a, a nice, now I should put in a nicer CPU. Yeah, yeah, that's right from me, Super Troopers. That's what I was thinking about. Oh, that's <laughs> Juice and you're right. I was, that's right, I was mining. I was mining just to lose money. Because <laughs> that's what it is now. Do you still, you used to. I used to, yeah. But now it doesn't get you anything. No, it stopped being profitable a while ago. Even yeah, yeah. before the merge. Yeah. Uh, Windows, for on Intel, I still do Windows 11 for gaming. Windows, a lot of people like Windows 10, and that's okay. The thing is, I, eventually at some point in time, they'll stop supporting it and then you guys will all move over. And then the thing is, is that in, when Windows 12 comes out, we'll be having this exact same conversation about why well, I still like Windows 11. <laughs> <laughs> and then there'll still be like the 20% yeah. of people on XP. Yeah, 2025 for Windows 10. Uh, I am a huge Windows ME fan. Like that's <laughs> my favorite. Windows ME or bust. I'm all about Windows 2000. I tried making a Windows 95 Unfollowing. Virtual, virtual machine to run Driver Z, which is a really dumb driving program. Yeah. Uh, it, it was hell. <laughs> yeah, Windows 3.1.1. I'm a DOS 5.0 guy. If, I, if I'm not running things with expanded memory, I'm not having fun. If when I boot my PC, there aren't 37 boot options, like press one for Weird Perfect, press two for uh, Secret of Monkey Island, press three for Wing Commander, press four for, does anybody remember writing the batch files when you booted because you had to change whether you ran Shadow RAM or extended memory or expanded memory, and then you had different IRQ settings. Like, so if you wanted to run Wing Commander, it'd be uh, 220 with uh, IRQ seven and DMA one. But then if you were gonna play like Loom, it had to be, you had to use uh, Roland settings. Yeah, exactly. Do you guys? Yeah, I remember DOS shell. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Boomer. Oh man, I love Wing Commander. <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> if I did build a new system, what drivers do I actually need to download? So the thing is, is that I use a couple things. Uh, for a new Windows system, for any new Windows build, I actually use IO Bits Drive Booster Pro. Um, which actually, because there's a ton of drivers that Windows itself doesn't update. Um, but uh, the good thing is, is like with uh, MSI, Gigabyte, and uh, Asus, uh, their, um, their regular applications, wow, Hype Train started again. Uh, their regular, mm -hmm. um, like their uh, App Center, uh, Oris, um, sorry, Armory Crate and MSI Center actually do a good job of showing you all the drivers right there. So you, you go there, it'll download them all, like your chipset drivers, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then you just need your GPU driver. And then potentially, depending on if you are Corsair or whatever, is you might have to download some additional RGB stuff. I love IOBits Drive Booster Pro is amazing. Oh, really? Ollie, you have your birthday's January 17th. Yeah, my birthday's coming up. It's more than that, because like there's the Realtek audio driver. Um, there's also some, there could potentially be some additional, like your LAN driver, your, your Wi-Fi driver. So there are some additional ones that sometimes go into there. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's pretty much your chipset drivers and your NVIDIA driver. But uh, Bluetooth driver, um, which makes a big difference, especially if you're gonna do any controller gaming or headset stuff. Bittersweet, five gifted subs. Farter, giving a month out. 
See, I swan. Look at this, guys. You guys are being crazy. I love my Steam Deck. Yeah, we still, we still, we still use it. <laughs> GF Roby, that's dad. It's my dad. So my parents back in when I was your age, actually, I was younger, I was eight when I got my first PC. How old were you when you got your first PC? Probably around eight as well. Yeah, yeah, so eight. So I got my my parents got my first PC at the age of eight. And they got a Packard Bell. Uh, it was a 286 SX12. You know how big the hard drive was? Big. <laughs> 40 megabytes. 40 megabytes. It had no a way. five and a quarter inch drive, uh, 256K, 256K of Shadow RAM. That was it. And so uh, my parents did it. And so my first book, I tell you, one of my first books, by the way, DG Viper, thank you for the five gifted subs. Uh, Shriekwell, thank you for the sub as well. The first book I ever read, outside of like the stupid books you read in school, was a DOS 5.0 manual. <laughs> and then I learned, because all it was, I was about gaming. The moment I played Red Baron and Battle of Britain, I was absolutely hooked. And my parents were like trying very hard to have it, like to use it for um, like word perfect and stuff like that. But then I'd go in there and I'd start basically, I'd basically start changing like the auto exec stuff. It, it'd come up with like 27 boot options. My parents just basically are like, we give up on this very <laughs> expensive piece of hardware. And then my favorite Christmas gift uh, until I like we had a really I had a one super magical Christmas But this thing I wanted so bad was a sound blaster Which is because but back in the day you only got like little sounds like from your PC speaker But you didn't get much audio and it was wing commander Which got me to get the sound blaster, which had the speech pack for wing commander, too. Oh, man uh, And so it was yeah, and the sound blaster pro was my it was my favorite gift It's the first time I ever like I got nothing else because it was so blooming expensive. I just <laughs> got that um, and uh, yeah, that was that was super rad. Um, and then my second PC was I didn't get another PC until we got a Pentium from Gateway, um, which was our second one, and we lived in Japan. Um, and that one was when we first time I installed Windows ninety five. So that was the second time I ever that was my second system. And then when I got to college, I had like I you know I had a I had a I had a great rig for college. So. Uh, with like DVD player and all that sort of stuff. And then after that, it's like, then I worked at Microsoft and PCs were like a dime a dozen. Yeah, I lived in Japan for, I lived in Japan for most of my young, like high school and all that sort of stuff. Did you guys ever Babbage's, uh, no House of Tom because we lived, we went to the BX and the BX did have a game store and it had stuff like Commander Keen, uh, it's funny because I used to have to travel all over the world to go to competitions because it was military. So we'd go to like Yakuska, Yakota, and all these other places. But my parents would give me money to go and to have for food. But what I would do is I'd save $10 for a whole week. <laughs> and then I'd go buy like MiG-29 or I'd go buy Falcon 3.0. So I'd spend $60 on a game. And then I wouldn't, I like, I wouldn't have, like I'd had no other food was kind of it. So it was actually pretty funny, this, this whole thing. Yeah, I, I, it, I, we didn't have a Babbage's or anything like that. I don't know. I'm still waiting to see what the heck this thing is it doing. It is rebooting. Okay, so it is rebooting. During an update. So, yeah. We're only like 30% through. I had to use... I don't remember what they were. I, I forgot what it was. I basically saved... I had I saved like a small amount and then I bought... I bought MiG-29. I bought Tornado. Um, and then I would spend the entire like, you know, choir or drama or whatever it was reading the giant books that came with the flight sims because they always had a ton of stuff about the airplanes. Uh, and then I played the game, so. Ohio gozaimashita, yep. Falcon 3.0 was amazing. But do you remember, like, Falcon was awesome. But I mean, like, like MiG-29 was probably one of my favorites because it still had, like, the MiG-29 had the eye tracking and, like, it blew my mind. In fact, if you watch Jack, uh, if you watch the new Jack Ryan, like, there was a whole point where they were on a base in Czechoslovakia and MiG-29 Fulcrums were there. And I was like, dang, those are such pretty planes. Too bad they're, like, crazy outdated now, but I was pretty excited about it. Ultima Online, yep. I, I didn't, I never played Ultima Online. Um, I never, I played a little bit of EverQuest, um, but I didn't really get into PC gaming until StarCraft. StarCraft was kind of my first like hardcore PC gaming game. Uh, outside of Wing Commander, when I gamed like back, okay, so it was like 
Golden Age Sierra. Riddick, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Golden Age of Sierra. Um, so like, you know, your, your King's Quest, Space Quest, um, your Phantasmagoria, uh, Seventh Guest, Eleventh Hour, like that Golden Age, uh, Red Baron, Battle of Britain, uh, all the way into like um, Secret of Monkey Island and all of the adventure games. And then that kind of whole thing died. And that's kind of when I went to console gaming and started console gaming. And then I re-picked it up in, in StarCraft. Thanks to everyone that got us to the level five hype train. Yeah, Mist, Zork. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for, uh, again, level five. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, just keep it going. Mist, Zork, I'm over here going through like, I'm over here going through memory lane, uh, full throttle, um, Day of the Tentacle, uh, all Jimmy of like- Jimmy with the five. Jimmy Kibb with a, with a fiber. Wow. Look at you guys. <clears throat> Yeah, and they, you can like still go play those too, right? Yeah, Seventh Guest and Eleventh Hour were the games my my parents played as well. Diablo, no, I played. So I actually got my first ever. So I remember Diablo two when that was the first online one, and I actually had somebody. I fell for the Ring of Jordan thing where I traded a bunch of stuff thinking I was getting a Ring of Jordan, and then the guy like said, oh no, I'm sorry, and then pretended and then like traded me something that wasn't a Ring of Jordan. Um, so that was the first time I ever got duped in a game. I remember that. It was like a bat. I was like, ah! <sighs> um, I never, oh, what about, what about um, it came from the desert on Amiga? It's almost done, guys. We've literally gone down memory lane. We're literally just trying to entertain you while Windows updates. <laughs> Mech Warrior, oh yeah, I played Mech Warrior. I played Battletech. Um, that game was awesome. You, I would keep looking at you like you played these <laughs> games, but you're like, nope. I, I played Minecraft. Negative 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. Probably more than that. Do a flip. Wow, that, that escalated <laughs> in a weird way. Let's go to the hospital. <laughs> oh, I played Descent, oh yes. I wonder, like, I wonder how a day's Nowadays, if people played Descent, so Descent was essentially you were a ship. Mm -hmm. It was all in 3D, and you and you could fly around. But like, remember versus Descent, versus Descent. Yeah, Descent was better than Doom. Descent was like you should go to go what do a do a search on Descent video game. It's pretty crazy, and it was like it was you had to be because it was it, a lot of people thought about it because with um, first person shooters, it was all on a 2D plane plus some. This one was like completely 3D, so like mm -hmm. it was crazy. Command and Conquer, yeah, remember Dune? The Campster, it's at 91%. Uh, giveaways except the big PC are over? Yeah, everything right. else is, yeah. I, oh yeah, of course I played Mist. I never, I never played Stalker or Moo or anything like that. I played Load Runner, obviously in the arcade. Um, I remember playing it on Sega Genesis and then being like, this is a scam because it was so bad. Oh yeah, Lemmings. Actually, Lemmings was done by uh, David, oh man, what is his name? Dave Smith. So the same guy who did Lemmings, um, who now actually ran, used to run the esports program for Fortnite um, and actually was part of the original team that did Grand Theft Auto and I worked with him on uh, Crackdown and Crackdown 2, so. Yeah, it was, it, was ba it was based out of Scotland. It was made out of Scotland, yeah. I did King's Quest and Monkey Island. Age of Empires, I worked on the first Age of, I worked on Age of Empires 3. I worked on Age of Mythology. I worked on Rise of Nations. I worked on Fable. Yeah, David Jones, thank you, Kirk. Who's actually a friend of mine. But I couldn't remember his name. He's a really good friend of mine. Paperboy. Privateer was fantastic. That was such a great game. Yeah, I worked on both of those. Yeah, I was on the I was the balance team for Rise of Nations and Rise of Rise of Nations, Rise of Legends. <clears throat> yeah, if you look up Justin Roby uh, in those in the credits, I don't know if I was in the I think I was in the Ron credits. I was definitely in the Ron Roll credits, and I was in Age of Empires three credits. And I was in, I'm in the new, a lot of the new Age of Empires. I'm also in the credits for 
I'm in the credits for a lot of games. Hey, okay, so it is now officially restarted. It does look like, well, okay, we're, we're, we're almost there, guys. And thank you for level five, guys. We're waiting for the last thing. We're gonna run one more giveaway, exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now. Uh, this is for the, uh, you guys unlocked another new egg gift card. So we're gonna do one more new egg gift card. I hope Squadron 42 is good. I do too. It just, it's, it's, when is it ever coming out? <laughs> Exclamation point new egg now. Drawing one win, one entry. When is that game coming out? It's, it's got like, Mark Hamill in it. It's like fusion energy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a decade away for the past 20 decades. Past like, five dude, decades. I was like, did you ever play the Wing Command? Like, cause the same guy, you know, Chris Roberts. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so. I haven't played any of the originals. So good, they were so good. They had the Wing Commander collection when EA finally bought Origin, which was like literally the death. Who remembers Earth and Beyond? God, that was a great game. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna draw two winners. I guess one somebody unclaimed for one of the $25 new gift cards. So we're gonna draw two winners. And we're waiting for this PC to finish its whatever it's doing. Uh, dead. Didn't work. Oh. <laughs> oh, she canceled it. Okay, we're gonna draw two winners. I'll start the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Let's hopefully this works. Okay, moment of truth, guys. We got everything ready. Last, last drivers. Good. This is the thing that could do the riser. Good vibes, guys. Good vibes. It's so hard to read chat with all the exclamation mark new egg now. Oh, yeah. We're not going to. Yeah. Nobody's going to be able to read that. Till, okay. There should be a thing where it doesn't show it if there's an exclamation mark at the start. Okay. Ways why the driver saved files or saved your computer. We're crossing our fingers, guys. Two hours later. Oh, hydrate. I just did. I just, I, I've now hydrated twice. Uh, by the way, it wasn't two hours later. It was just shy of 45 minutes. And the other thing too is I don't think you remember setting up a PC. We have literally set up a PC completely from, just do the draft graphics driver. Don't do that. Yeah, there you go. Don't want to be for experience. No. I actually like GeForce Express. Experience. I, would, I wouldn't mind it if you didn't have to log in. Mm -hmm. We've literally started a PC completely from scratch. No, we haven't done, we haven't drawn the PC yet. Probably about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. We're, gonna, we're literally about, hopefully, once this is done, then we will be able to, uh, we'll, we'll finally be able to benchmark it. See if this cooler can handle a 5800X 3D. Okay, it's installing the graphics driver. The joys of PC building. Will it come back? Software. Yeah. Which is really weird that Windows did not install this automatically. Should have installed the Wickle driver. Uh, we're using the uh, L NHL9X65. It's their brand new 65 one from Noctua. It's their improved version of the L9i. No more winnies. Uh, VIP.cdkdeals.com, Cliff94. Okay, in need of temperance, congratulations, and walked. Walked, I don't know, walked, A-S-E-F-I. Walled, -E walled A-E-S-F-I, yeah, and YouTube. Congratulations, you guys. Congrats. Congrats, it's installing the graphics driver and then we can finally get this going. Surprise it hasn't flickered yet. You're gonna work. I don't wanna set it to PCI Gen 3. Oh, there, there goes flickers. Flicker. There's a flicker, does it come back? Flicker numero uno.
No. <laughs> Oh, it's still, no, yes, no, I saw it for a second. I'm oh. on, oh, oh, no signal. Horn. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, oh, Looking oh. for a second. Look at, oh, it's there. Hey, oh, wow, that's so much better. Yeah, and it worked. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, so now, oh, and we have both versions now, so we can go to game capture. And you we guys need can now to see everything. Now? No, we're, we shouldn't need to. Well, what I need is the driver. You're on the other I'm screen. On the other screen. Okay, there we go. Display settings. Let's go to duplicate. Duplicate. We. Keep changes. Okay, go to 2560 by 1440. Keep changes. Okay. Hey, finally. Hey, we are, okay, so we are finally set up. We're good to go. Let's change one thing here. Is this all the stuff I like to show? Wait, what happened? Why is it over there? Oh, this is what, this is what we saw before. Yeah, this is a riser issue. Okay, so we do have the riser issue. Whoa. So we're gonna have to go to Gen 3 riser, which is going to, we're not gonna get the, like we're obviously going to have some sort of limit bandwidth. So this is gonna be a Gen, we're gonna have to do a Gen 3 riser problem. Yeah, there it is. Boop. Burr. Is okay, so we're gonna go and fix this real quick. It is sad. It is sad. We're just gonna set the riser to Gen 3 and then this will fix this problem. So we can at least benchmark the temps, but the game graphics won't be right. So. Uh, Fractal is working on a, Fractal is working on a, um... Rip Bozo. Fractal is working on a new riser thing. Question is, where is it in here? Uh, would it be settings? There we go. Good job. Okay, uh, F10. Yes. Cool. Okay. We have done it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So this is a riser in a riser. <laughs> so I don't know which one it is. I think Fractal was really surprised that they were having this issue. Um, so yeah, but anyway, we've, we've now set it to Gen 3 only uh, and we're good to go there. It won't, it, it won't, even if you're running Linux, it would still have the same problem. Yeah, probably. Yeah, sorry guys, it's not, a, this isn't a Windows problem. This is literally a, a hardware issue. Okay, so we're in, I don't know, we, the, the, so frame rate won't be ideal. Sorry guys, it's just the way it's gonna work. Uh, there's a tiny bit of RGB on the motherboard. But only a tiny bit. Oh, that's not good. Why did it restart? We definitely set it to, we definitely set it, he said if we set it to Gen 3, it should be fine. Man, how much would that suck if we got all this done and then we can't even do anything because the, like it physically can't do it. That would be cringe. Uh, there's no way we could just mount it in it. Just use it as a test, test bench shit. Well, I mean, the good thing is, is that at least we'll be able to give away the PC. I don't like that. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so let's let's do our temps. Let's get our temps. That frame rate is not confidence inspiring. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's 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 do. We're gonna do. Let's get let's get temps. Let's let's get one thing. Startup app. Oh, I don't, yeah, there might have been other stuff, okay. Okay, so let's at least get that done. Cinnamon. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so here's where we find out whether our, whether our machine can handle the temps. So GPU temps right now are, those are great. 39 at idle, which is awesome. Uh, CPU is sitting at, CPU sitting at 56 under idle. So, I mean, it's probably not quite idle, but here we go. Let's go to uh, file, advanced benchmark. We'll set it for 10 minutes and let's see what this thing does. Currently sitting at 53. So let's see what happens. Okay. Multi-core. Multi-core. Here we go. That's a fast boy. Uh, 96. Okay, so 91, 90. Is there utilization? Yeah, yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's at 100%. Yeah, that is uh, that. Yeah, it, 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 it's uh, it's uh, it's, it's actually one, in the ninety, but it's like again. Remember, their temperatures are lower. It is one toasty boy. Yeah, that's running toasty. Yeah, I was a little, but again, I I care less about it for uh, Cinebench. This is like the worst case. This is not what it's going to run at. The question is, how will it run in games? And I don't know if this is going to run games given the riser issue. But we're going to try that now. It's going to sit at 90. It's just going to keep thro throttling. So, again, we're running at 3,900 megahertz down from 4,500. So, okay. So, not good for workload stuff, which is, uh, which is not what I expected. Let's check. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, so I'm going to need to run MSI. Please don't crash because I need to see. Okay, here we go. Let's go to settings. Okay, on-screen display. Only thing I care about right now is just temperature. Okay, so Jeep. Okay, so let me do this real quick. Sorry. So some of this stuff. G screen. Okay, so we'll get this one on here. Override group name. GPU. What's this? Uh, forty ninety. Okay, there we go. Copy. Apply. I want this in the on-screen GPU usage. Override, there we go, apply. I want this in the on-screen display. I don't care about that, I don't care about that. I don't care about memory usage, and eh, not really worth. Core clock, that's GPU. We'll go ahead and run that, just so you can see. Make sure there's not any throttling. Apply, go to the on-screen display. Memory clock, I don't really necessarily care about that. Percent power, power percent. Now what I care about is CPU temperature. There it is. Show and non okay, override group name, 5800X3D. Copy, apply, CPU usage, override, oh, override group name, apply, show and on display, and then we can, we can put it in there, why not? Show and on display. Okay, we'll throw this in here, frame rate. We'll do frame rate, there we go. Override group, uh, my, game, thing's fine. Just gonna call it game. And then frame rate, uh, I just care about frame rate and then frame rate average. Apply, show an on-screen display, show an on-screen display, apply, on-screen display, toggle on-screen display, control T, control Y, control U, and then uh, benchmark, control G, control H. Okay, there we go. So everything there is good. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Hopefully this shows it when it's ready. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we should be good there. Everything should be set. I don't know if this is gonna run, guys. I don't, I have no idea. You can actually see here, 
that even our memory, our GPU memory is like severely bandwidth restricted, but we'll see what happens. Because what I care more about is actually what the game temps are going to be. I'm going to steal this. Okay. I just want to leave that open. Okay, there we go. Just hit uh, continue with that account. Uh, play. Don't you love it when a game launcher installs a different game launcher? Yeah, no, great game launcher. Spurious ECG, this is using Noctua NTH1, which is like the sixth highest rated one. That, that, the temps, the, it's not going to make that big of a difference. And the thermal spread was amazing, so I'm not worried about that either. Do you have to allow access? Uh, I can't. Oh, hit alt tab. Oh, did it just disappear? I think it blue screened. Yeah, we blue screened. Yeah, mm. it's, guys, we're, unfortunately, we're just limited by the band, the thing. Okay, well, let's do the giveaway. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just that we're limited by the giveaway. I mean, not, not by the giveaway, we're limited by the... Uh, Whoa, what happened to the race stream? It's not, guys, it's not Linux, you guys. It's literally, it's not a Linux issue. It's a, it's a hardware issue. Yeah. It's a riser cable. Yeah. By the way, this is not the PC we are giving away, just as an FYI. The PC we are giving away is completely different. It's an RTX 3070 Ti. We'll get you a link to the video. We'll put that in there real quick so you guys can see that because this is the PC we're giving away today. Now remember, uh, just as an FYI, subscribers, you get extra entries to the PC giveaway. So uh, the PC ad that we are giving away is, do, 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 do. I will find it real quick. Uh, should I switch to PC? Uh, stealth. Here is a PC we're giving away right here if you want to see it. Okay, we got it. Okay, cool. So specs are Core i7 12700K, Noctua NHU12A cooler, Gigabyte Aorus, 32 gigs of 5200 MHz DDR5. Uh, we have a uh, Gen 4 uh, 2 terabyte NVMe drive, uh, Noctua NFF12 PWM fans, plus AFA12 PWM fans and a 1000 watt PSU, uh, not to mention a Z690 Aorus Elite Stealth, plus the 3070 Overclock uh, Stealth, and a C3000G Stealth. It is a fantastic build, uh, and that's what's gonna be. Yeah, it's a bad commercial. Well, hey, this is live, dude. This isn't a commercial, this is flat out live. Like we, like we, there's no YouTube magic here. This is basically just, oh, the, oh, the ads are running. Oh, that's oh. why. Hey, I thought you were seeing this one. This is real life, guys. This is real life where things happen, but we still make pretty PCs. Yeah. Good job making something that doesn't work, Max. <laughs> I blame you. I'm just kidding. It's not your fault. We we Good were job, pretty too. we were pretty clear at the beginning that this may potentially fail. So, um, and there was some experimentation here. There was definitely some experimentation. And then, okay, so guys, we're gonna run the move giveaway for three minutes for this. This is for the PC giveaway. We're gonna wait till the we're gonna wait till the the ad stops. I'm trying to find. Okay, here it is. We're gonna edit this one. Coming at you live from the United States of America, building a PC that doesn't work. Revolutionary concept. Okay, remember, guys. Uh, subs, you get extra entries if you want to get that done. Uh, you're gonna get three extra entries. And uh, for this one, just because of you guys, uh, just because of who it was, we'll tell you the entry here in a minute. We're gonna give it 25 seconds. Does it just keep not working now? I was trying to turn it off. Oh, okay. But it's still on. I think it's in a boot loop now. It's not happy about its current state of living. Okay, there we go. 
Whatever. It's okay, good. so uh, five seconds and then we're back from ads. Good luck, everybody. We're going to run it for three minutes. Farger giving out Stretch from Sigma. And then we are going to say goodbye to Maxwell because Maxwell needs to get over to my house so uh, Aunt Brenda can take him home. <laughs> so thank you very much, Max, for hanging yeah. out, dude. We will see you later. We'll see you on another episode that will be more successful than this. <laughs> So That's everybody so. say goodbye to Max, and then we will uh, we'll do the giveaway. Bye, Bye guys. Max. Bye. Bye, dude. That was awesome. Sorry, it didn't Ooh. do what it was supposed to. Oh, microphone. Good. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take the mic and all that sort I'm of stuff off. Steal this. Yeah. Yeah, Max Tech. Everybody says Max Tech has a nice ring to it. It's kind of like Max Tech from Cyberpunk. All right, and with that, I go. Bye-bye. Okay, so we got Max gone, and we're going to start the giveaway in just a few moments. Our young Padawan who had a lot of fun. Okay, guys, exclamation point community, exclamation point community. Three minutes starting the giveaway right now. Gigabate Stealth PC giveaway. Remember, if you are international and you win the PC, you are you are responsible for the costs incurred, shipping, and any duties and tax. So uh, we will essentially work with you. You will ship it. You will basically uh, cover the costs and all that sort of stuff to go with it, right? So that's all there is to it. Uh, so, but I'm fine with it being international. Oh, I set it for three. Okay, guys, hold on. I'm going to end it one sec. Cancel. We're going to set it to three minutes. Thought I set it to three. Okay, exclamation point community starting right now. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes. Three minutes, two minutes left. I mean, it's a beautiful system if we, I wish we could have seen what the temps were gonna be like under gaming, because that's like super important to me. I don't necessarily care about the Cinebench, I care about the gaming scores, but I have no way to test that right now without uh, working, unless I went to like a Gen 3, I'm guessing if I went to a different CP, GPU, it'd be okay, but like a 3000 series. But yeah, the 40 series is uh, definitely suffering from this right now. Definitely not a great, uh, definitely not a great uh, uh, productivity system for sure. One minute left, guys. Okay, we're gonna take a minute to verify the winner just to make sure that we're good there.
Okay, guys, five seconds. Okay, so now we're going to verify the winner. We're going to verify the winner. You guys can no longer enter the raffle. We're going to pick our winner. And you guys have two minutes to claim. Congratulations to STX3D. STX3D, you are the winner of the PC. So STX3D, we're going to reach out and we're going to confirm. I'm going to wait for a confer confirmation that we are good on the win. Congratulations, you guys. Sorry for the long, We, you know, one of the things is like we had with the PC issues that we had, it took away my time to get this all set up and stuff like that, so I apologize for that. Sometimes things like that happen. We Sometimes we have mired situations, so I apologize. Super appreciate everybody's patience and hanging out, but we wanted to get you guys a full build experience. Let Max have a really great time enjoying this uh, and having a lot of fun. Um, and uh, at the same time, you know, trying to show you guys a pretty cool build. I, you know, again, probably some stuff in here, like we're not really sure of 5800X3D. Experimentation is part of the game as well. Um, it's something I get to do that you guys don't necessarily get to because I have more hardware to essentially play with and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I really just appreciate uh, the, the, the huge amount of support that you guys have shown uh, both in this stream and the last couple streams, uh, just having so many of you here uh, has been absolutely awesome and I really appreciate it. And then again, huge shout out to all of uh, the people who dropped gifted subs and everything else. You guys were, you guys were awesome uh, and I really appreciate the incredible support. Um, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do build names today. Uh, I, I do gotta get home. Uh, we wanted, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that we were optimizing for trying to get you guys the most out of that. So we'll write names on the next one. Um, if uh, it looks like it, well, it looks like they're all just hash, they're all hashes. So I can actually do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the hashes real quick while we verify the winner. And then uh, at least we'll have the hashes for the build mat because all of these people are all already on here. So these are the, these are for our top supporters. So Igor getting his, cause this will be the last stream. Igor getting his second hash. There we go. We got Riddick with his fourth. There we go. And then we've got uh, Farger with his first. So we always put people on the build mat that we'll eventually give away. These are for our prime uh, uh, financial supporters. So thank you again, guys. For that, we got that updated really quick. Can I get an honor in it? Farger, Farger, not Farter, Farger. All right, let's see what's, okay, let's see if we got something from Blondie. We're good. Okay, we are good, guys. Congratulations. Okay, well, that is it. That is it for 2022, guys. We have done a whole year. Um, how many people have watched, how many people, have, let's get a quick raise of hand. How many people have watched 10 streams? How many people watched 10 streams this year? How many people watched 10 streams this year? <laughs> yep, 10 streams. Okay, how many people have watched 20 streams? That's 20 streams. That's, that's catching enough for, that's like three, four months. Me, at least. Okay, who's watched, who's watched 50 streams? Too many to count. You guys, I would say 50-ish. You guys are, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for being so amazing, for being so incredible. You are all rock stars. It was an absolutely fantastic year for us. I wanna say a huge shout out to every single one of us who supported us, not on top of my incredible team uh, who uh, make sure that these streams happen on a consistent basis. You guys are, you guys are amazing. I really do appreciate it. Have a very safe and happy New Year's uh, Eve. We will be returning live from CES in Las Vegas on January 4th. Uh, so we will be building in a brand new case. Uh, so that's gonna be happening live from Las Vegas at 8 a.m. That's gonna be the first stream of 2023. Uh, and then you guys also will be doing CES Live. 
So every time we get to a meeting, if we can, we will get there, show you new products throughout the entire week while we are in Las Vegas. So plan on being just available. Uh, we'll let you guys know the schedule as soon as we can. We're still working with the different companies, but they're, they're being pretty tight-lipped about what we can show and what we can't show. So anyway, anything we can show, we will do it live, show you guys live there. You can ask questions to the reps and stuff like that. Should be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Have an absolutely amazing night. Thank you very much again for an incredible stream uh, to my mods, my tech specialists, to Blondie and Tom, of course, uh, for that stuff. Don't forget to follow at RobyTechDeals on Twitter. And of course, if you need, uh, if you need anything else, uh, check out at RobyTech.com. Have a great night and we will see you guys on the next episode. Have a great 2020. <laughs> see you next year. Oh, the button's over here. That was awkward. I went the wrong way.